Um, wow, I don't know where November went, but here we are. It is November 29th. And we are going to talk about some Tesla news. Um, some new stuff. Obviously, you saw the title. Um, SNX refresh stuff? Uh, possibly. Maybe. Um, let me just make sure that this volume doesn't blast anyone out. Um, it looks like the case is yes. Um, but we have that and some other news we'll go ahead and talk about. And then uh, we'll just open it up and kind of like have some fun. And we're already starting out. Hold on, though. Before... Before we do that, one, not yet. Thank you, Alan, for the 1999 super chat. Said, let's get the show on the road. Woo-hoo. Okay, we got the confetti. <laughs> I'm waiting for the super chat. Okay, but is it going to do it? Wow, that was light off. Okay, I'm trying to. Thanks a lot, Alan. Yeah. I'm I, tweaking the program, and it was supposed to read that. So I apologize for that. I don't know if I mm-hmm. have to be donated through Streamlabs to read it. But it was supposed to read that, and it didn't. So I need to figure that out. But anyway, that's one thing we're working on is uh, when donos happen, it would actually read them. But thank you so much, Alan. Um, so let's, I guess, get the show on the road like Alan said. Um, so, okay. Here is our, can we say proof? I don't know if it's proof, but it's good evidence. I good think. evidence. I like that. Okay. Here is our good evidence or like the best case we've seen so far, really, of something potentially coming for SNX. So in Europe, the price has increased 5,000 euros or 6,000 USD, Equivalent, basically. Yep. Um, and that is for cars that will start delivering in March of 2021. Yeah, so it's really odd that there's such a long delay. We do know that yeah. t- Tesla typically builds European vehicles at the beginning of the quarter, so you would expect those to be built, you know, beginning of January, maybe de- delivered in February or March, but it's odd that they would have such a large price increase because in the past, they've always lowered the price. And recently in the United States, they lowered the price of the Model S to like 69420 but Europe didn't get that price decrease. And so it's unfortunate you know they didn't see a decrease and now they're seeing a price increase and what's really odd is some people are saying that they're being told the reason for the price increase is because of demand and that there's increasing demand and so they raise the price but they're also being offered discounts to take delivery of an inventory vehicle super sus doesn't really make sense because if there's inventory that you're trying to get rid of that doesn't mean to me that there's an excess demand and and that you need to be raising the price so yeah who knows? We've, we've seen this in the past, but it's not often that we see a price increase unless something major is coming. Exactly. And the fact that people have been told the price is going to increase or the price is increasing, but they can take an inventory model cheaper kind of contradicts the thing like a shortage. Yeah. Um, to me, it kind of sounds a lot like we'll give you a discount to take one now. Because we're totally because changing it. Because we're totally changing year. it. We'll see. We'll see. Because we, you know, people have been talking about a refresh. You know, the Model S body has been out there like since 2012 or so, mm-hmm. uh, since they first started production. And they changed it slightly when they changed the front end and the nose cone back in early 2016. And they haven't really changed a lot with the body since then. You know, maybe the, the headlights, a few other minor changes. But we're hoping that there's going to be some major change, kind of like what we've seen uh, in the design language of the new next gen Roadster. Exactly. And so I have a few things here. I want to up and just discuss with everybody um so obviously we have seen the track car going around the Nürburgring um it in all its glory it looks beautiful not for everybody I suppose but it, you can see it's got like the wide fenders it's got the enormous front lip the, obviously the GT wing probably not gonna make into production or be something special it's got the extra diffuser on the back different style roadster wheels the front right here is different but there's some other things um, that we've kind of seen. Here's a one render of a potential refresh. Now, we're not a huge fan of this one because it still keeps that vertical screen. And with everything they're doing in the car with like YouTube and watching videos, vertical screens don't really work out the best. But that is a one option. And it does look similar to the Roadster in that mm-hmm. rendering there. Most definitely. But you can see it's got like the heads up display going on here. Looks really cool. But then cruising around on reddit someone came up with this design oh um it's got the plaid but it's got a new interior you can see a cup holder can we get a claps and chat for cup holders in the doors for s and x um but also look at this screen that's a horizontal screen in a model s um they just kind of posted it over there Uh, but it overall looks really really nice 
But we've been looking at some of these other images. Like this one is from Electric. It's a July 30th of 2018 article about the first look at Model S and X refresh. Yeah. Um, so so been, we're over yeah. two years now. Yeah. Um, but like this one showed a uh, horizontal screen with those air vents and this uh, kind of different type of speedometer yeah. second I'm hoping screen. they don't go with that. I'm hoping they still have a large screen for the instrument cluster in front of the driver. While it's not necessarily if, you, if you're using full self-driving, it's nice to have. It's nice that in the SNX now you can customize and show like, 100%. You know, all kinds of different apps up there that you can't easily see in and the Model this 3 is or the Y. definitely a it's second too, screen. It seems too small, though. Exactly. It doesn't really give you a lot of real estate on the sides to change the things that you currently can um but i i don't know it's just that we've been seeing a lot of this stuff lately with mm -hmm. everything i mean it's been over two years now with the price increase and what people are being told over there um i'm thinking 2021 differently it so, might hit well we know that plaid is coming towards the For end sure. of next year but that doesn't necessarily mean they're going to wait and release those body and interior changes with plaid it could be the plaid drivetrain it's just going to be the new 4680 batteries and you know the quicker motors but uh they could to totally make some other changes earlier on with a lower capacity battery maybe the existing batteries but a new body yeah um i'm definitely hoping something happens um I don't know, but it just seems odd that price is increasing because they're saying it's like uh, demand, but yet they're willing to give a discount on stuff currently in stock. I don't know. It screams to me refresh. Something. So we think, so. and we heard it from a friend, from a friend, from a friend. So like three degrees removed, or whatever. <laughs> that there is something they've seen it. So, but we don't know the exact timeline yet. But it's cool because, no. like we're saying, they might still. We're hoping they still have the two screens. But somebody's actually been rumored that there might be a third screen. So we don't know if that would be f uh, just a, a, a yet another screen. Would they break up, you know, the the horizontal screen and have smaller, you know, one above, one below? I don't know. Or would they have one in the rear? Because currently, it's not easy for passengers in the rear to like change the music or temperatures. You know, turn on their heated seats. So it might be a little screen in the rear. Yeah. I don't know. So many fun op like possibilities, but the fact that this is kind of there makes sense. Um, it also be interesting to see. see it. It'll also be interesting to see like how quick this will be because True. currently the performance can get well. The regular Model S can go like zero to sixty in three point seven seconds, and the performance can do two point three. But the Plaid is supposed to be less than two. So I would think that the new one would be somewhere less than that three point seven seconds, uh, just with the non Plaid. Uh, battery pack yeah so here you can see the long range is three seven performance two three plaid sub two so i mean it's quite possible it remains to be seen but all kinds of crazy rumors out there who knows which ones are right which ones are wrong but there are even some talk about having like a carbon nanofiber yarn or something in the motors so instead of using copper for the drive motors they might use carbon nanofiber which would be uh, a lot uh more performance on that. Yeah, exactly. Which, to be honest, seeing a car like Model S go sub two seconds, zero to 60 is pretty wild. Um, real quick, uh, yeah, David's camera, I was I was messing with it when it was on him because it was uh, kind of, I can see it kind of like flicker a little bit. Hopefully that goes away. Um, but yeah, it's pretty awesome. Hopefully, fingers crossed. I see someone saying maybe Plaid has come early. I don't think Plaid's coming early because of the significant price yeah. increase. We definitely would have seen that. Yeah, and also with that, that we're, Elon said that's kind of constrained on those 4680 batteries. Yep. And we're not expecting those to really be ramped up in production until like fourth quarter, maybe end of third quarter next year. So that's why it's like maybe they'll come out with the body and the interior designs. Uh, but, it, but the thing is, too, with those 4680 batteries, they're supposed to be like part of the body itself yeah and structural so, so it'd be interesting to see how they would do that but we'll see hopefully we'll see something i'm, I'm pretty sure we're going to be seeing something in first quarter oh, actually maybe even sooner we'd have to see something later in december exactly for those uh, u.s deliveries for people who are ordering at the end of december who can't take delivery by the end of the year exactly so keep your eyes peeled um obviously if we hear it anything it'll just be published direct to a video asap um but fingers crossed um, so next up, we have some rear wheel drive Model Y info. It looks like deliveries are happening 
Very quick. Hopefully, yeah. Some people who've been told, you know, we've seen in the past people were told, uh, you know, prepare for delivery for like the, the third row and stuff like that. But other people are saying, no, we've had that on our page, our order page for months. But uh, it looks like somebody messaged Elon uh, and he said to be ready uh, in December 2020. So for that yeah. rear wheel drive Model Y. So yep. uh, they didn't have the price, I don't think, yet on that. But it's going to be, of course, slightly cheaper than, well, somebody said, I did see somebody say that it would be slightly cheaper than the all-wheel drive, but then, or, you know, dual motor. But uh, someone also said that since the price of full self-driving increased, if you still had those, it might kind of cancel out any savings. Yeah, which is basically what this person on TMC said. Um, and they said a friend that lived near the Fremont factory got a call last week regarding their reservation they made in May 2019 for a rear-wheel drive with FSD. And they were told their car will be available next month. Um, price of the car lowered, but FSD increased, so it's probably going to be a wash. Um, so anyway... Interesting fact there. Hopefully we still see that. And then, yeah, here's where Elon had said December in a tweet in October. But, I mean, sometimes Elon time is a little different. Um, but on that note, too, we still haven't really heard anything on the seven-seater Model Y. Um, so, Not recently, no. Yeah, yeah so. uh, some people were told that, that you know prepare for delivery, but again, other people said no. We've had that on there since March of 2019. Exactly. When they first placed you know, their orders. So, oh, I mean, maybe we'll see a seven seater and a rear wheel drive by the end of the year. You never know. Um, next up, so there's been a lot of talk about Europe getting its own compact car hatchback. Yeah, basically, uh, or maybe even another. Design. Elon did a nice interview. I think it was German television, uh, and, and you can look for it. It's on YouTube. It's like a 20-minute long video, and he talks about when they're coming to Europe, where they're going to try to customize the cars to be uh, more tailored to the European market. And he mentioned a hatchback. And we all know that hatchbacks and and sit, uh, like station wagons are pretty popular in Europe. And he he was talking about the need for a smaller car. He was talking about when he visited the Gigafactory and they were driving around a Model X, and it was hard to find parking in some spots just because the Model X is such a large car. Yeah. So he was saying they're going to be coming out with a more, probably a more compact car, a hatchback, and uh, maybe some other original designs. And we know the Model Y is also going to be changed somewhat. So I don't know if it will really even be the same as the U.S. Model Y, but they're going to be changing it up for the European market. And he did mention, too, that they would have a 1,000-kilometer or 600-mile range eventually. And it's, it, you know, they just keep pushing that range up every, every year. Which is still pretty impressive that they're able to do that, and they just do it as often as they do. Sometimes people don't even know about it, and they just wake up one morning and have more rain. Software update, yep. Yep. Um, and then, so next up, uh, so this is kind of a bummer, but hey, there's Tesla news. So Model S, or sorry, Model X 2015 to 2016 models could potentially have a recall for the front roof applique. Yeah, and it's not like a major problem. It's, no. it's not a major safety issue. It's something like on the outside of the roof of the car. So it wouldn't be a problem for the the Model X driver, but the problem is, is this piece wasn't like laminated properly and it could detach from the car during speeds. And it might affect the person behind you if the part were to detach and you know uh, cause an accident behind you. Exactly. And I mean, so I'm just trying to And again, find... these cars are like, uh, it was a batch of cars, I think about 10,000 cars built about four years ago. And they're just, you know, doing a, a small recall on those just to fix that. Yeah, I was just trying to find a good image here. Of the roof. Of the roof. Obviously not as easy as I would have hoped because I guess a lot of people don't image their roof. Yeah. What's up with that? But um, I did find one real quick so we can kind of look at that. So it's basic... Oh. It's basically the Apple K piece so that's small. like right above. <laughs> Look at the. Oh my God, it's so tiny. <laughs> it's kind okay, of that's what happens when I just like pull a quick photo to try to reference. It's just a little Apple K piece right up top here, right after the windshield ends yeah. between that and the doors. So it, it's not something huge, but it's something if you do own a 2015 to 2016, you might yeah. be receiving that email about that. In which case, just keep an eye on it. They said it doesn't affect like every single one that issue does, but there's a couple cases where that primer just wasn't fully applied. Um, and that way they'll uh, get that fixed out for you. Yeah, and they did also announce a Model Y recall. There was about 400. Uh, originally they were saying it was closer to 450, but then they came back and lowered that. But the, it was about 400 Model Ys uh, were produced that had the, the bolts weren't tightened quite right on the upper control arms and uh, they'll take care of fixing that i don't think they've had any accidents or injuries or anything related to that yet but they did find that some people uh, needed those to be adjusted 
Yeah, so um, if that is one of you, I'm pretty sure Tesla's They'll already reached out by yep, now. Yep. Um, if it isn't, you uh, shouldn't don't, have gotten anything. Don't worry about it. Yep. Uh, next up, so Gigafactory build-out has been huge. We've been seeing a lot of great updates from Texas, from Berlin. Uh, but it came in this week that Berlin could produce a ton of batteries, basically the same amount that's being produced right now. Yeah, basically for the entire world. Entire basically, world, yeah. Basically, they're saying that, that Berlin could produce up to 250 gigawatt hours of worth of batteries per year, which is crazy. It's just like you know, Tesla has continued producing, you know, like the, the first gigafactory out in the Reno area. And now, you know, they've started the one down in uh, Texas. And they're going to be doing battery production there, too. But now, it, you know, here in Berlin, it's nobody else, no other car manufacturers building their own factories, as far as I know. Last I heard, they're just, you know, buying them from LG and other companies. Yeah. Um, it's sorry. amazing, though, to we see that Tesla is inventing, investing this much in battery capacity. But they're preparing for the future. You can't build a car unless you have the batteries. Yep, exactly. Um, and then, so next up, um, we have the new factory in China. Um, they actually have yet another building. Um, yes. they, they had the Model 3 building when we were out there. They had started Model Y when I had just been out there in January, which is insane the pace they've gone but now there is yet a new factory in china that's going to be building a ton of superchargers which can only mean one thing a massive rollout planned yeah basically they're saying that this investment in the chinese factory should allow them to produce up to ten thousand supercharger stalls or those similar to this but v3 in china oh. and so that's probably going to be for the chinese market sorry i'm uh, trying to i'm trying to refocus but, uh, here but basically <laughs> ten thousand so currently all of those are built i believe at the uh factory two which is in Buffalo, New York, and uh, there's been some waits at some locations in the United States where they've went in, put in on the conduit, and then they're just waiting on the equipment to arrive. And so it sounds like they recognize the need that they can't just have one location building all of the uh, supercharger stalls and equipment, so they're going to be expanding that in China. It didn't sound like a huge increase in investment, like monetarily-wise, but maybe if you know you already have the, the building... Or, or the equipment, or I don't know if they're doing a brand new building or just uh, going to farm it out to another company, but definitely uh, going to be adding capacity for up to 10,000 stalls per year. Definitely That's interesting. That's a lot of locations. Exactly. Definitely interesting when you think about it, though, because, I mean, 10,000 superchargers a year, how many stations are there total in the world right now? I don't know. Didn't they hit like 20,000 Yeah, it's or like something? 20. So... This can only mean a massive rollout is coming up, which since Tesla has started charging for superchargers, for those of you with a newer SNX or a 3 or Y, it makes sense that now they have a little bit more capital to put into really building out a supercharger network, which they've already done a great deal of, but now that they actually have a little bit of revenue coming in with that, Elon has said it was never going to be a profit center, and basically everything they get was just going to help sustain and keep building. So, kind of nice to see. And, you know, it's a holiday weekend. You know, talk, talking of supercharging, holiday weekends are often a problem because everybody drives around Thanksgiving or Christmas. But we saw that Tesla was proactive again this year, and they really rushed to get some of their new locations done, like the, the Fireball location in, in California, which has like 56 stalls. And... Uh, and also, they've put out some temporary location or temporary superchargers in in Utah and other states. And so it's just nice they're trying to prevent people from you know having to wait in line when supercharging. And uh, yeah. I heard you know of course not as people not as many people are traveling this season this this Thanksgiving. But I I, I didn't hear any reports of there being those huge insane lines that we've seen on some years in the past. Which is I great. yeah I haven't seen the photo because I mean previously we've always seen the photos. Twitter, Facebook, whatever, but I haven't actually seen that this year. Yeah, and they, you know, they brought in so many online, and I've seen the stats and reports. And I've looked on the car. You can see that you know how many are available. And a lot of them, they're showing they're being used, but they're not maxed out at capacity at most of the locations there, especially in California. Yeah. Uh, sorry about the focus. I don't know what happened. Everything works great when we test, and then we get a little blurriness. Can you put up your hand and just see if it focuses on your hand? Oh. Uh. 
Uh, okay, we'll work on it. Um, anyway, um, next up. So we've actually received a couple updates over the past week or so on yeah. our model. Nothing, um, nothing it's huge. It's the Y and the S. The 3 hasn't gotten one yet, has it? The 3 it? hasn't gotten one yet, but the, the both of the S's got updates and the Model Y did. The the, uh, the Y and the S100D both got to a, a newer 2020.44 release. About 80% of cars out there right now are on 2020.44. It seems like they're pushing everybody onto that version. Not a lot of any changes. They seem to be just bug fixes in these smaller releases. But uh, our older Model S with the MCU-1 did get an update to finally as well to 2020.40.992. You know, so it's still a, a, a big release behind, but it only brought like Bluetooth connectivity and glove box pin and the ability to vent the Windows and S. So not a huge thing for that, but Scott was glad that he was able to get that in his vehicle. But we're hoping that means there's some other huge release coming towards the end of the year. So who knows if, if there's going to be a dot forty eight uh, release coming? Sorry, playing with the camera. Hopefully that fixed it. I don't know why it keeps like going blurry on us, but YOLO, here we are. Um, but yeah, uh, kind of low key. It's just been bug fixes, so it's kind of kind of boring. Yeah. Um, but yeah, and then I guess we just have some solar news. Yeah, for solar, it was okay again. Not the best week, but it, we did have snow, I believe, uh, like Monday night into Tuesday. So we lost about a day and a half of solar production. I did get out there on Wednesday. It was nice and sunny, and I cleaned off some of the panels, and that helps the rest of the snow slide off. So we averaged about 44 kilowatt hours per day, uh, which is way down from what we're producing back in in the summer months in June, we can produce like 144 kilowatt hours, but 44 kilowatt hours today is still not bad. Uh, we, we were only able to offset about 82% of our usage this week. Uh, we used 378 kilowatt hours, but produced 309. And for the year, we're still doing great. We have uh, still offset 133% of our household usage, where we've used 19,515 kilowatt hours, but have, have produced 25,871, so way more production. So it's nice that we are able to send that back to the grid and help power our other neighbors' houses as well with solar energy. Yep. Um, still working on our video, talking about our transformer. Um, we still don't know if that fixed the issue. Uh, unfortunately, the issue really arose when it was really mm -hmm. hot out. So. And we've had to do some additional paperwork and stuff with yeah. Excel, and so we're waiting for some sign-offs on all that stuff. Yeah. But one, that should be done uh, hopefully in the coming weeks. Yeah. Do you want to come up here so that we don't have to deal with the... Uh, Camera focus. I don't know, you but can, then I'll have my you, microphone. You can leave your microphone on. Okay. We're going to switch here. Ba -ba -da -ba 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 -ba. Uh, we'll yeah, that focus is driving me nuts. Okay, here we go. Oh, so what's, well, you should talk about you know, our video we, we did. We are all up front. You should talk about the video you did earlier this week. Last week, whatever it was. Okay. So... I guess you can pull it off. Some of the Let us know if the uh, audio gets a little funky because he does have a separate mic and I have this. Um, anywho, we did the RC car. Um, did some extra modifications on the RC car since I posted that video. Basically, uh, I had to get different wheels because I literally burned through them. Um, so these are actually... They don't look like Tesla wheels, but they're dark black, so it doesn't really matter. Um, but they're super grippy, so these actually will do a lot better. A lot more but, tread, um, so they, it should last longer than those other. Yeah, we've yeah. been having fun with it. But anyways, nice. If you haven't seen it, uh, check out, I think, last Monday's yep. video where yep. Eric turned the Model Y for kids into a remote control vehicle, and he could, drove it all around. So it this actually works. Oh. And then we gave one of those away on Twitter. Um, a regular Model uh, Y for kids. Yes. Not a remote Not control, a remote control one. One. That Not took yet. a lot of work. Um, but yeah, definitely check out uh, Twitter. We're doing like giveaways kind of like all winter. Yeah. So check and, it out. And this week we have a couple, at least a couple of good videos. One of them will... No, we can't. Don't. Uh, well, one of them we talked about two weeks ago. Somebody you are, said... You're still well, under an NDA. Well, okay, but somebody asked us about a video two weeks ago, and we said it would be coming in two weeks. So it should be coming out tomorrow or, or Wednesday, I believe. And then we have another video. Tuesday. That, It'll be okay, Tuesday, Tuesday and Thursday. Okay. From the editor. And then we have um, another uh, video too yeah. that a lot of people have always asked about uh, features on like the 3 or Y. I think it's actually going to be reversed. Oh, okay. But so anyway, okay. um, there will be hopefully two videos. Um, pretty exciting things. I think both are going to be something that everyone... <laughs> 
<laughs> NDA, LOL. Uh, I think both are going to be something that a lot of people have been curious about for a long time. Especially in the three and Y. Yep. So, but kind of one of them at least is applicable to, well, actually, both of them could be applicable to the, some of some S's and X's. Yeah. Uh, well, I don't know about the X. X's, I don't know. no. It depends on the history. Anywho. That, but definitely um, the, some of the older S's. Yeah, should be some fun stuff at least. Um, we had fun filming it. Um, I got cut. I bled for one of these videos. Uh -oh. Yeah. So one of my pants got ruined for one of these videos. So they so should. It'll be, be a good video. That's probably Thursday. Yeah. Um, but yeah. So let's see. Uh, that's basically all the news. Awesome. We got through it. So okay. if you guys have any questions, oh, we can open it up and just have some fun with chat. Answer any questions you have. Talk anything you want. Um, curious to know what people think about the potential SNX refresh. Because I, like, all the signs are pointing to it's finally happening. I know yeah. we've said that before. And we've seen other minor things over the, the years. Yep. But not a lot lately in this year on, the, you know, they've done price reductions and they've increased the range. They, but that's what's weird is after all these price reductions, now they're increasing it. Yeah. And it's so far only without increased. Without changing anything. You don't. You, exactly. People aren't going to buy it if you raise the price uh, without adding something. Yeah. E exactly. So I, it, it's awfully suspect what's happening. But I'm super stoked for the refresh. It'd be awesome to see it before the plaid because it's, maybe we'll just go for yeah. that instead it, of a plaid. The only thing about that that I hate is that I hope they don't like do it three refreshes instead of one big one because yeah. they might come Incrementally. out and change the the outside and we're like, oh, let's buy it. And then the next quarter they come out, oh, now they change the interior. I and know. then the next quarter they come out with the plaid. And, and, it's just and like, so kind of like that on happens. that, like I think we are just going to hold off on an S until we can get an interior and exterior. Yeah. It would yeah. be nice for the range with the new batteries and like the plaid and everything. Don't get me wrong, but with the range the 100D is now, I think it's plenty. It, it still gets close to 330 yeah. miles on a full charge, which is just, it was like 335, 336, I think, on, on a full charge when yep. we first got it, uh, you know, three and a half years ago. So it's still great on range. Exactly. Uh, and to be honest, that range can get us really far. We've taken yeah. that car on many of road trips and really haven't had any issue. More range is always nice, uh, especially... That way you can account for some degradation if you keep the car longer, etc. Or et weather, you know, if it's colder or, or more snow and Definitely. stuff like that. It might uh, chew into the, the battery range some, but, but uh, we haven't had any problems with it. No, so, I mean, the range isn't the huge thing for me. I think it's just I want to see something new interior and exterior. Um, Rich said the Plaid will have the interior refresh. Um, yeah, I'm sure the Plaid will have everything, but I just hope they come out with a few other things before then. But, yeah. but I guess we should probably wait before buying and, until uh, we get both the interior and exterior. Yeah. Um, Frank said Model Y refresh should delete the Falcon Wing doors. They're too problematic. I think, I think you meant Model X. X. Yeah, yeah. Um, and, you know, we've talked about that, too. Is past, Maybe they yep. should have the Model X with Falcon Wing and Model X without. I don't know. I'd wonder, though, it might be such a small, you know, exactly. if you have 80 people, 80% 80 going from one and 20 the other, then they would... And, but I think, like, the Falcon Wing doors are also one of the big sellers. Yeah, you either love them or hate them. I mean, yeah. they're cool. They do allow more room to get in, but, but they definitely have some issues in some places, like if you have a low garage. Exactly. Or, like that. Yep. So, or, or people who have accidentally driven while they were open and, oh. you know, hit the garage. So, um, it happens. Mrdsn189 said, "I have those same Sorrel slippers, David. Love those. Oh, things. we love. Yeah, we, yeah Eric has yeah. the same ones. Yeah, and we, I mean the dogs even had a pair too, because yes. they chewed yeah. up one of ours. So we had a spare <laughs> pair because uh, the dogs, back in their teething days, uh, they liked the slippers too. So. Super comfy." Two thumbs up. The cool thing, yeah, they got soles on them. You can wear them outside. I actually wear my slippers outside when I'm, like, doing the snow rake to pull the snow off because... Yeah, yeah. I mean, I've, like, half-worn them to work several yeah. occasions and, like... If I'm just going to pick up food, I'll wear them. No harm. Um, let's see. Uh, someone said Falcon Wing Door is the reason I chose the X. Uh, Mom is in a wheelchair. Oh, so that, I'm sure oh, yeah, that see, really helps. Definitely easier to get in and out with it that. Or for people with its, kids yeah. trying to get them into the uh, child seats. It definitely has its perfect use case scenarios. Definitely that's one of them. Car seats is another. 
What? I, I've still mentioned, the dog I've still mentioned sometimes, you know, people don't, some people like them, some people hate them, but like, kind of like mini van doors, sliding doors. Yeah. To me, that would still have the benefit of a falcon wing door, Definitely. but without the problem of them opening up and needing that higher clearance. Yep. And, you know, because we've been in some places where the falcon wing doors only open part way, and you have to like duck or you have to push the button, or you're like, why didn't it open up? There's nothing there. Yeah. So it's, they're not perfect, but they do have their uses. They're, they're good for what they were designed for. Yeah, definitely. Um, and Cappy said, do you think they will create a cyber SUV? Like a true full-size SUV? That would like be... bigger than the X? I would assume so. Yeah, that would be cool. Yeah, That would be cool. Um, they would get rid of the X then, too. I mean, so I've always wondered this. Like, will they eventually replace S and X with something else? Yeah, probably eventually they will. But that would be interesting to see because, you know, the, the price of the Cybertruck, while it's still not cheap... It's still cheaper. It's phenomenal you know, it, for what you get. It's amazing for the performance and the range of stuff that they're going to have. It's like Tri-Motor was like 79000 or something like that. Yeah. Where it's like, well, the X, when it first came out, would have cost way more. Now, they brought the price on the X way down. But if you compare the two, it's like, well, people would probably, be, I think a lot of people would like the features on this a cyber SUV yeah. versus the X. Yeah. I mean, that would be super dope. I'm down for that. Um, let's see. We got a super chat here. John, thank you so much for the $5. It's just right there. Oh, thanks, John. <laughs> yeah, like, oh, um, I, I saw you look all over. Um, it said, the bug fix fixed the problem on the Model Y. Uh, you say open glove box, the voice command, it now opens. Oh. I see Kyle from Auto Spec Motoring move to Boulder. Oh. Oh, interesting. I'll have to hit him up. Yeah. I think I hear myself through your tablet. Mm, there's no volume. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, awesome to hear. I'll have to go try that out on the voice commands. I actually have not done that yet since it didn't work. Um, but yeah, awesome. Good catch. Thank you again for the super chat. We should chat. try that too and make sure, can you open that if you have a pin set for the glove box? Can you still do that? Hopefully not. Or can you just say the pin verbally uh, yeah. and oh. it read? I don't know. We'll have to try to see or let us know. We'll play you around with that. Yeah. Um, and Tommy said, I'm worried about... Taking delivery on a 2021 Model 3 performance seems like a lot of quality problems with deliveries right now in Europe. Should I be worried that they are pushing cars out of the factory too fast? Uh, I haven't heard of anything in Europe, but then again, I don't really follow like necessarily like build quality stuff in Europe. I would say just when you go, just really thoroughly look over the car. And if you see anything, make sure you bring it up to them and either get it do build if you're comfortable with that or see if they can just get you a different build car. Um, definitely look it over, though, either way. Um, and let us know how it goes. And, and also, don't be afraid of all the horror stories. There's, nobody's perfect. There's always going to be somebody. And you're only going to hear about people complaining. You don't hear about the people who got a perfect delivery. True. That is, and, that is the big thing. Is and, every time you read reviews, it's almost always going to be people that had bad experiences. I mean, I don't have the exact reviews. percentage, but it's going to be probably still single-digit percentages and the other other people, uh, you know, again, we've taken delivery of like 12 Teslas over the last four years, and well, uh, some of them have been perfect, some of them had minor issues, but we've never had one that had major issues or something that we needed to refuse delivery on. Exactly. Um, let's see. Um, already answered about the slippers, speed limit reviews. They're the Sol Sol Sorrel. Sorrel. Uh, brand. Um, Rich said, do you think the X will be refreshed? I think both the X and the S because they do share a lot of the, the interior. Still, yeah. And it's something, too, we might see it might be delayed by a quarter versus the S, but I don't know. They could do it at the same time, or the, or maybe they would just do the S first and then come out with the X three months later. True. We'll see. Yep. Um, let's see. Uh, what kind of dog is that? That's actually a Rhodesian Ridgeback. We have two of them. Twins. Um... Let's see. Uh, Inner Hype said the doors are too iconic. It's not even a Model X without the Falcon Wing. Um, yeah, I, so the, I do agree with you there. That's another thing, too. Maybe if they did ever get rid of those, they would just change the model. I, I think know. so, because like Elon always said that was like the Fabergé egg of cars because yeah. of the intricacy involved in it. And if you take away those doors, it does actually take a lot away from the car. Yeah. But they've done a lot to the X over the years. You know, they, when it first came out, it was very complicated and it really slowed down production. But they, yeah. they've figured things out and been they've able come to a long way fix those, those and improve those. They've done a lot of things with the switches and the, the, the hinges and everything on the door. So they're definitely improving it all, all the time. I'm curious to know what revision are they on? I mean, because they make so many micro revisions. Yeah, it's amazing. Yeah, if you look at the parts catalog, we've ordered so many parts from Tesla and they always have like, you know, dash G, dash, you know, 
H, I, yeah. J. They just keep changing, whether that's just a revision of the part or from a different manufacturer. It yeah. depends, but they're always changing things. Yeah. Uh, Frank said, I think the Model S exterior still looks great, but the interior refresh is sorely needed. So I agree with you partially. The thing for me with the exterior is it's remained besides like the front fascia. It's basically remained the same exterior since 2012. Yeah, they changed um, the headlights and a, a couple other things. Yeah. But, uh, like the rear... Uh, the rear diffuser. The rear diffuser. And, and the, like and, the front fascia. Those and the are the rocker babies. panels, you know, change them because those... Yeah. So there's a f few changes, but body panel-wise, they haven't changed a lot. Yeah. I, I still like it too. I mean... I, it I, still looks great, but yeah. I think that they need to do something a little different just to like make it look a little different, maybe a little face lifted. I don't know. I don't know what they could do. But the car we've seen around the Nürburgring looked pretty dope. Yeah, I think with some of those on that, though, I, that's going to be more plaid if they have all of that on there. Exactly. If, but they're like, not going to have a giant spoiler like that on, on yeah. the non-plaid. But like maybe they could still have this air vent in this front fender. Yep. Um, that's small enough. Uh, I definitely think like all this like wide body kit is probably going to be exclusive to plaid. Yep. Um, this front right here, plaid. The spoiler, I don't even know if they're going to even sell and that. Could, and they could change the door handles. Maybe they would go with the oh, handles yeah. like on the on the 3 and the Y. Yeah. Or maybe they you know, keep them and just make them more reviable. But fortunately, we haven't had any problems on the S100D with the handles. Yeah. Well, um, that's another video we're going to be doing uh, in December. Is just uh, our history of all of the oh, tests yeah. that we've had and all that we've spent on service, which is... Uh, you'll be quite surprised, I think, with the number of cars we bought, the how much we've actually spent on service over the last like four and a half years. Yeah, it and the mileage. We've gone quite a lot of miles. Uh, let's see. Ron said, I ordered my Model S in November and should be taking delivery of it in the next two to three weeks. Is there anything you think I could do if I wanted the refresh version potentially coming up? So, I mean, the only thing would be to hold off on your order. But again, we don't have any like... We don't have pictures of the refresh. We don't have anything yeah. officially saying it's coming out. We're just saying, like, to be honest, the price increase is sus. Um, and the fact that they're telling people it's a demand thing, but also if they take an inventory car, they'll give them a discount. Another red flag. Yeah. It, a lot of things are pointing to I, it, but it's it not guaranteed. So, yeah, I wouldn't want to, like, have you cancel your order or anything. I would just... Yeah. Oh, still plan on taking delivery uh, but if they do happen to update the website sometime later in December and you haven't taken delivery then then you can uh, make the decision at that time exactly I would hate to have you cancel your order and then nothing happened because I mean we've it's, been talking about this refresh for over three years yeah it, and some stuff minor things have come out but nothing major so it could be that it's not gonna be first quarter but signs are pointing to it with the price increase that they're they're thinking but you never know they might get yeah. behind on other things just the, they've had to shut down the factory this t year a couple times mm -hmm. we don't know they might have to shut down the factory again uh, yeah and we've also seen a lot of production delays model 3 went back to non auto dimming side mirrors model y started out with non dimming side mirrors because there was production issues potentially but now they both have it back so i mean it really depends on how things roll with new parts and also it's weird to me that they're doing the new center console in just the model 3 right now and not model y so maybe that's a little part constrained too I don't know. It really depends on that, I would think. Okay. I see Terry Thompson is wondering if cooler weather, I don't know where you are, but I'll go with his question. He says, does cooler weather slow down charging on V3 superchargers? He started at 10% stable charge, and it was 47 degrees out, and it maxed out 187 kilowatts. It depends. It, it depends on the, what the temperature your battery was you at. Know. So if you had, you say you're at 10%, but had you been driving all day, or had you set the destination at, to be that supercharger? Because uh, I know that if I'm on a long road trip, and we've been able to hit 250, or really close yeah. to 250, no problem, even in cold weather but uh, if if you say we're trying to go to a supercharger that's only 20 minutes away the battery doesn't have enough time to, to warm up and the battery has to be at the right temperature before it will be able to and at the right state of charge before it'll be able to get to that 250 kilowatts definitely um, Ryan said Falcon wing doors on the s how awesome would that be pretty sure we'd call that a DeLorean yeah somebody's mentioned like scissor, That'd be cool, like though. scissor doors oh whatever, scissor so. doors yeah, yeah kind of like Lambo doors yeah. uh, I'm interested what if they had a cyber sedan that would be like the DeLorean. I'm interested in yeah, that too. Cyber City. Yeah. Um, somebody said, I have a Model Y on order, but inclined to change to an S. Is it worth buying a 2020 Model S or 2021 Model S? I mean, 
A Model S is great. Model Y is great. I would say out of the two models, or out of the four current models, the S and the Y are probably my favorite. Um, although 3 and X, of course, I still love those two. It just but depends on your needs and your uses, really too. Does. If you have a lot of people, then the X is going to be best. If you want the smallest yeah. car, then the 3 will be best. If you want the most range, then the S will be best. Yeah. If, you know, if you want kind of the best of all of those worlds, the Y is probably going to be in there. So. Definitely. Um, Roger, welcome. Thanks for hanging out. Said, um, it, it pops up your pin code pad if you ask oh, okay, it to open cool. the glove box and yeah. you have a pin. Okay, That's awesome. That's cool it does that. Um, let's see. Frank said, I would not buy an S until Q2 of 2021. Refresh is imminent. I mean, I, as much as I agree with you, we've been saying refresh for like three years. The Electrek article. Oh, we forgot the biggest thing. Sorry, go with that and then I'll bring oh, it up. We forgot okay. the biggest thing ever. The uh, Electrek article had like the exclusive first look and that was Two years June ago. 30th of 2018. Yeah. And we've, we've heard that some <laughs> of the, you know, obviously that never happened yet, but we've yeah. heard that some of those things are accurate, some of them aren't. And, and like I said, we have a friend of a friend of a friend uh, that's told us about some of these. So we'll yeah. hopefully be seeing those soon. But we forgot to bring out, which I see some people talking about, Tesla stock hit the all-time high again. How did we miss that? And the, the, we forgot that bullet point. But basically, <laughs> it was nice. Tesla, yeah. you know, since it's been announced that they'll be joining the S&P 500 later in December, yep. the stock price has just gone way up. I mean, it, it was like in the 300s, and now it closed close to 600 just within like a week or two. Yeah, so. pretty wild ride if any of you are enjoying that ride. Um, now there's probably, Thumbs up in chat. <laughs> yeah, there, hopefully there's not a huge correction soon. I think it was going to, I mean, I hope it will continue to go up. And it'll be I mean, thing. it'll be interesting to see what happens after the inclusion to the S&P 500, which just so happens to be on the... 1221. Which is the... The shortest day of the year. And, and as we know, the, you know, the shorts who are always shorting, well, not those shorts, but the, the people who short Tesla stock, you know. Uh, well, it's kind of like, you know, putting sand in the wound there. So. Exactly. So, I mean, it's kind of interesting how that's all working out. But, um, yeah, congrats to any of you uh, Tesla investors out there. Um, huge congrats. I saw a chart, though, that kind of made me want to cry. It said if you would have bought Tesla stock instead of a Model S in 2012, mm -hmm. it would be worth six point nine or something million dollars. Yeah. Whereas if you bought that car, it is now worth 30000 <laughs> yeah, and, we, and we've had that same discussion many times because it's like, oh, yep. if we wouldn't have bought, we bought like 12 Teslas over the last four and a half yeah. years. If we would have put some of that money aside instead of uh, upgrading the cars, we would have a lot more. But there's also, yeah. so my first one, I, I just bought outright in cash. I know, weird flex, sorry. Um, there's some issues with the loan at last minute, so I just said screw it and bought it outright. And I bought a few cars outright, and I've learned not to do that. Because if I would have taken that money and bought Tesla stock instead and then sold it, I could have paid the taxes and the car and had a hundred grand in my pocket. So yeah. um, that is why I no longer pay cash for cars. <laughs> the nice thing too is that interest rates are so low now exactly. that, that we're really not paying much at all. Uh, exactly. The car. So, I mean, that's one thing to think about too is rather than put a huge amount down on the car, put maybe put as low as you can to get the car and... Invest it. Play around with it. But the thing with investments you always have to keep in mind is it could potentially disappear. That is, you're gambling. You really are. So you just need to be careful with that. I see uh, Diego's asking if we're going to try swapping out the Model Y mirrors. I think we're still waiting to oh, hear back. Actually, so here's, here's the thing. So I got the quote for swapping out the Model Y oh, side know. mirrors. Yeah. And here's, <laughs> here's where the problem lies. It is going to cost $1,500 for the parts. Um, so yeah. the actual side mirrors are like $600 a piece. And then the other money comes from like the uh, sk skull cap is what they call it. Because um, hopefully I don't break those. But if I do, that's added money. So it's like a minimum of like twelve, thirteen hundred dollars $1,300. Just for parts, and, and then I just don't know. I want to jump into that. Yeah, because it's not a huge difference. I mean, it, it's nice to have. It's nice to have it, but I don't know. That's a huge 
in expense. It's I don't know. Draw, maybe comment below if you guys would like to see it. And maybe if enough people really would be interested in another, it. You should do another Twitter poll. Kind of like okay, we we'll did do a Twitter poll. With the MCU2 uh, radio tuner upgrade, yeah. we said, should we pay the $500 to get an FM radio? And the vast majority said no. Yeah. And it's not It's not worth it. And I, just, I like, think it's going to be the case with this, too, that, yeah, it would be nice to have, but I don't think it's worth twelve to $1,500. I would love to have it, but that $1,500 is just so tough to... Yes. Well, like especially, that's a lot of money. Especially if you're buying the parts new, it might be something else if we could find the parts on eBay. True. So we'll, we'll look and see. But since they're new, I don't think there are any listed right now. We'd have to check again. They literally just started delivering model wise with yeah. that. So. so so you'd have to either wait for a car to be totaled and then for to sell those parts, or to, for to somebody sell new parts. I don't know. Sometimes they see new parts um, on eBay, and you always wonder what fell did, off the back of a yeah, truck what or what. These brand new parts that they're able to sell them for less than what Tesla sells them. For? Yeah, I don't know. But anyway, I did get that, so I don't know. I just, it's a lot of money, in my opinion, to jump down, and I just don't see it being something a lot of people would do. I would love to have it, just not for that price. Um, but I don't know. Let me know what you guys think, and maybe... Yeah, we should do a poll this week. Yeah, I'll do, I'll do a Twitter poll, so just keep an eye out for that. Um, let's see... Uh, where are we? Sorry. Jumping around in chat a little bit. See, I answered some of this. Um. <laughs> but yeah, somebody was asking when we were talking about stock, if we have stock. Yes, we do have stock. We're not yep. like millionaires or anything like that, but we do have an, uh, some stock. And yep. especially now the, the after the stock split, we have five times as many shares as we did before. I mean, it's <laughs> doing nice. And I also have quite a bit of NEO stock and that has been doing really nice because I got into that when it was really cheap. So I, I'm quite happy with that as well. Um, Rob said, if you're going out in cold Colorado day, do you preheat your car? How long? And how do you heat the battery so that you can get full regen? It's getting cold in Western Washington. So we actually have a fun video on this coming soon about winter driving. Um, yeah, we use the model that. Y, but we, it kind of goes for all the cars, uh, preheating the car. Yes especially on those cold soaked mornings. But the way we charge every night is we actually kind of calculate it out and charge at the same time. And basically when it's reaching its state of charge that we set it to 80% normally is when I'm leaving for the day. Yeah, so we typically set the car to start charging at like 5.30 in the morning yep. if Eric's leaving at like seven or something like that. And that yep. way, by charging for that hour and a half before he leaves, that heats up the battery. Heats so, the battery so, and everything. So that when he does leave, he would have like full region or pretty close to it. Yep, and normally it's just pretty close. There's still a little bit of cold soak just because the actual motors aren't getting all that heat when you're charging. But the nice thing is, is the battery's heated and that tends to take the longest um, but um, that's as, kind of like the yeah. gist in general. As you mentioned too, you can turn on from the app, you can, you can preheat the car yep. so the cabin's warm, or, or you can turn on the defroster and that helps to uh, preheat as the motors and stuff. Yeah, well. oftentimes... And the battery, well, sorry. But. I, I love uh, doing like preheating the car and everything, but that can use a lot of power. Yeah, so I sometimes know. I'll just heat my steer or heat my seat and call it good because yeah, I all I need to heat it is right where exactly. I'm sitting, not the whole I don't, thing. I don't, I don't ever preheat my car. Yeah. I just use the heated seats and the steering wheel, yeah. and that's good enough for he me. He has I, a Model S, yeah. all you three and Y owners I like, out there. I like, I like it to be a little cooler, and I, I, yeah. I, I get feel like I get nauseous or get a headache because when the heat starts blasting me, I, it just makes me feel bad. Yeah. So, But by turning on the heated seat, that makes me feel good. And yeah. so, and it uses a lot less energy. So that's what I always do on my drives, and that's enough for me. Now, if there are other people in the car, then I will turn on the heat just because they might not be uh, as into the you know the heated seats as I am. But uh, typically, I don't ever turn on the heat unless it's, like, really cold. Yeah. Uh, Frank said Chrome Delete coming for model. Oh, sorry. Uh, but to answer your question, Rob, that's kind of it. But um, we'll have a more in-depth video coming very soon. Um, let's see. Frank said Chrome Delete coming for Model S. Hopefully. I could see that I think coming. The S and X will both get it. We've spent a lot of money uh, doing the Chrome Delete on But you know what's the, so funny the over the years. is now I'm seeing on like People Instagram and everything, yeah. all these car company or like rap companies are now putting chrome on the cars. Yeah. Just, I saw somebody did a whole, you know, we've, so seen, funny. we've seen it on a couple of cars in the past, but I just saw like right before I saw like a Model 3 where it was entirely chrome. It was like chrome, chrome, and more chrome. Oh, yeah. And, yeah. I mean, that crossed my mind to do that yeah. on one of ours for a little while. I even ordered samples, and it looked pretty dope. But actually, um, I, th I think I have a new idea for Model Y wrap that I might play around with. 
Sneak peek. Yeah. Um, let's see. Um, Tommy said, what are you missing in the interior? I mean, a new model S and X is still more futuristic than any other car. Almost lucid did a good job though. I mean, I think it would just be maybe, especially for like S and X, the plaid, it's a very expensive car. Some extra like comfort features. I would love to see a, uh, cooled seat that actually works i wish for the seats maybe the the if some of them you could adjust the oh, length yeah. or so that on long behind trips, your sometimes knees. behind your knees it, 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 depending on the length of your legs it can feel weird to have that edge of the seat there yep. and i know volvo and some other car companies have it so you can like just push the edge of the seat out a little bit yeah I, it's, it's all small stuff like that it's not like i want like a 120 percent redesign it's just a little bit more creature comforts that you would get and something normally that caliber priced of a vehicle yeah i wish too they would have maybe something like a heads-up display oh yeah or like night vision i mean i've seen some other yeah. manufacturers have that and, and and they might say well you don't need that because the car is going to be driving itself with autopilot but i would still wouldn't mind seeing mm -hmm. you know some cars they have a little display but it'd be cool if they could put that on on the windshield i think it was the volvo that had the headlights that would actually be like auto headlights all the time but block out cars yeah i think that's not allowed in the united states oh, other nuts. companies have that like audi because that looked pretty cool and so that's cool because you can have it so if you're driving down you could still like have high beams but it will have a little like it'll block it out so you can go into oncoming traffic and it won't mess them up yeah another uh I just forgot the other thing I was going to talk about. Oh, electrochromatic glass. Oh, that would thing. be cool. I think it would be cool because then you wouldn't maybe have to get tinting done yeah. because they could just use a little bit of energy to darken the glass. Yep. And uh, problem solved. And if you don't want it tinted, turn it off and then you can totally see out of it. So I think electrochromatic down glass would be cool. That would I'm be surprised they dope. haven't done that yet because we've seen a lot of patents that Tesla has or yeah. had over years. I think that was one of them. And then these products never, or, you know, never show up on the car. So hopefully the refresh will have a lot of these. They features. also had a really cool patent for a uh, windshield wiper. Yeah. It was like a yeah. laser or something. Yeah. That would be yeah. pretty dope too. And, and yeah. 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 Uh, Ready said, is it a metal... Made in China, Model Y getting a second driver display. Not sure why that Y tester is camouflage in China. I, I, I mean, why it's camouflage? I don't know because Tesla doesn't normally do that. So that's a little. It could be a Chinese thing, though. It, maybe it could be, um, but I don't really see it getting a second driver display, unfortunately. Yeah. And there are other companies that they're third-party companies you that uh, have a second display you can add, and it currently works. But there's always the possibility if Tesla starts like encrypting the signals over the CAN bus that that would stop working. But we might try one of those out and see because that would be cool if we could add that that uh, instrument cluster functionality to a uh, three or the Y. Yeah. Um, I see Rich is asking about the holiday software update must be coming for Christmas since we didn't get it for Thanksgiving. I mean, I would say it should be very soon. I, there's a couple dates that stand out in December, obviously the first because it's the first of the month, but we also have the date of the S&P inclusion, which uh, is the yeah. 20th or 21st. 21st. Yeah. So maybe they'll save something fun for the for 21st is like a woohoo and it's and um, also though it's yeah. like don't get too disappointed if you don't get it because in the past we've seen it where they've talked about it and then you don't get it until a week or two later and it's like oh yeah. okay well it was cool i got the santa claus thing and but it, christmas was last week so yeah. don't be too disappointed if we don't get anything by the end of the year but it'll come eventually yep um somebody said you guys are killing the tesla stock price with the refresh rumor i too am holding to pick up till i refresh i mean I think Tesla stock price is just going to keep going up, especially yeah. until the S and P inclusion, and, and, again, and then too, after that, probably still go yeah, up. And any thing too, any orders that are already out there, you're going to get the car that you ordered. Yeah, exactly. And so yeah, I guess it might be Osborning or something to talk about a future product uh, coming out. But again, that's just us; it's not guaranteed. And we, but that's also why Tesla doesn't really like announce stuff super advance. early. Yeah. You don't really know about it until it's basically shipping. Yeah, especially too, because they since they. They didn't used to carry a lot of in inventory, but they do. The, they, it's not like a typical car company where they sell those cars to the dealerships and then the dealerships have to worry about, you know, yeah. the, the Osborne effect. But here it's like Tesla owns all of that stuff until they sell it. So they don't yeah. want to let it leak if they, if they can hold on to those secrets. Yeah. Um, Chucky said, any insider info on a heated steering wheel for Model 3? Hmm. Okay. So I know we don't like secrets. Watch Tuesday's video. You'll love it. Maybe. Mm. That's all we're going to say. That's all we're going to say. Um, let's see. 
Um, ba, 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 ba. Pierre said it would be nice if Tesla would have retrofit kits for anyone who wanted to update to the latest changes. I mean, they kind of do. do. You some, can just like... buy a lot of the parts yourself yep. and get them installed. Tesla will even install them in most cases. The issue is it's just so expensive. Yeah. It's... I mean, if you literally went through their parts catalog and priced out every single part of the car, you would be at probably... 10x the price i don't know if it'd be that much but it'd be quite expensive but you can yeah. like you said you can buy almost every part and, and definitely though we still think the mcu2 upgrade was definitely worth it it was oh yeah you know, 2500 dollars or a little less if you don't get the new screen but it, it made it feel like a brand new car and that's another reason why it's like ah, i don't i don't feel the need to get a 2020 because i have virtually all the same features except for a few more miles on the range and, and that new suspension but i'm still happy with my older air suspension from 2017. yeah um luck hopefully i'm Luke. Luke, okay. Luke. Uh, it said uh, they removed the OK button when typing the code um, for uh, drive okay. and glove box. That's so it's just the four in key some presses. Ways it's, in some ways, it's good. Some ways, bad. If they're yeah. only going to have it, so you can only do a four-digit pin, then it, that that makes sense. It would be nice if you could do a five-digit pin or something like that, because or something. change it between four and eight. Yeah, something yeah. like that. Yeah, longer. Because but it, but if you know it's a set four digits, there's no need to have that. So it's nice so in four see. digits, how many possibilities like are 10, there? Ten thousand. Is it ten thousand? Okay. Because, yeah, you have to just multiply downwards. So, yeah. yeah. Okay. I mean, it would take somebody a while to figure that out. But, you know, if you if you change it to a five-digit, that would be 100,000, which would make it 10 times safer. Yeah. Um, let's see. Uh, thoughts on Tesla changing their stance on not allowing Model 3 owners to buy out their lease as lease terms come up and RoboTaxi isn't ready. Yeah, that's, that's going to be interesting to see because, yeah, yeah those are, leases are coming. And what are they going to do with all these cars? So I remember when they I first know. came out with three in the leasing scheme, it's like, why don't they have that? That's just odd because where are these cars going to go? Unless they're going to, like, I don't know. What are they going to do with all these, you know, hundreds of thousands of Model 3s? You know, or tens of thousands, at least. It's going to be a lot. Yeah. I mean, if anything, maybe they would get them back. And then resell to, them? Yeah, but... But that seems like a lot of work when they could just let people buy out the, their Who already own it, exactly. they want to keep it. It doesn't make sense. Yeah. So. I mean... It'd be I, interesting to see. I could see them making a change, at least in the interim, until RoboTaxi is ready. That would yep. make sense. Um, let's see. Uh, Roldley said, Will the Tesla SNX refresh when it comes? Will the older one depreciate or be discounted? I mean... It's hard to say because different things have happened when they've like, when they did the refresh S with the front end, mm -hmm. what happened with the uh, previous it, version? They I just sold them as is. Like they didn't really discount them much, did they? I don't, I don't think so. There might've been a few that got discounts, but most people, again, they got what they, they ordered. Yeah. Yeah. But, but I think too, the, you know, well, it, I don't think too with the front end, that's not a huge increase and not a big change in technology, mm -hmm. but you know, when they come out with uh, like the 4680 battery in S, then that, if it has like 600 mile range, True. then an older like 75 or 60 or 70 car, uh, is, which is a much smaller range, it's not going to be worth as much as a, a newer one. Yeah. Uh, real quick, thank you, Jeff, for the $5 super chat. Really appreciate that. Said, I want to convert a Model Y for full-time living. Am I crazy? Any thoughts when the new 82 kilowatt battery pack for Y will come out? So are you crazy for converting it? <laughs> no. Um, there's actually a gentleman, I believe he's l located in California, who lives out of his Model X. Um, it actually looks like a lot of fun, not going to lie. Um, and as far as the battery, I think... In Germ at least some cars Don't quote that we've heard it. in Germany already have the 82 kilowatt hour battery. Yeah. So I haven't seen any got gotten delivered yet in the United States yet. But There's hopefully a gentleman who's local that just picked up his 2021 Model Y, um, and I'll be checking it out soon, and I'll definitely look at that for you. Oh, yeah, because he has a, an X as well, right? Yes. Yeah, so yeah. So as soon as I can look. But honestly, I would think it's the 2021s. Don't quote me on that, though. Um, a lot of people are saying, don't do the mirrors. It's not worth it. And yeah. $1,500 to me, not worth it. Somebody said, just buy two shares of stock and no mirrors. Yeah, definitely go up. I mean, and yeah. again, if we, we'll keep an eye out on eBay or something like that. And if you yeah. get the mirrors that way, then we might do it because you could probably do it for a third of the price. But even then, yeah. even at $500, I don't know if it's worth it to have self-dimming mirrors. I, 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 $500, I could see, this but $1,500 is just like... The, mm. my, my Teslas that I've had were the only cars that I've ever had that had self-dimming mirrors. I drove for decades yeah. before without self-dimming mirrors, and I mm. got along just fine. Yep. Yeah. Um, KK also reminded us, the Hot Wheels Cybertruck shipment 
is due in December. Oh, yes. We should be getting ours, hopefully. I'm just... Yeah. Hopefully I can't wait for those because uh, when we get those, uh, I ordered not only some to unbox and play with for a video, but also some to give away. Yeah. It'd be cool, too, though, now that we have the Y. Well, they're, we not, race the, them. they're not the same scale, but we can race them. No. I, I, I don't know. It'd be interesting to see. I bet the Y will win, but we'll see. I bet it would, too, because that Traxxas, I think, goes up to, like, 40 miles an hour. It's yeah. stupid. You need to do some launches and, and some zero to, well, zero to 40 times, I guess. The Cytex said, use that $1,500 for a 48-inch OLED LG. Um, mm. We're actually looking at new TVs for upstairs. Um, Probably not an OLED. But, we're but not an OLED, but we're... Those we're, are nice, though. We're going way bigger than 48. <laughs> I think we're looking at, like, 85-inch. Yeah. Why not, right? Um, let's see... Um, I kind of talked about that. Oh, wait, did we finish the question that we're um, about con converting his car? So, oh, yeah, I guess we talked about. It. But I don't know. It's room. If, it's, yeah. if you're by yourself, obviously, you're not going to have living with your your family. In there. True. Oh, yeah. And, and the, the gentleman that I uh, heard about that did this kind of similarly in his Model X, it was oh, just him. Just another, and Jeff just um, sent another. Oh, and Jeff uh, sent another five dollars super chat. Thank you. Said, does the Tesla flat tire repair kit work any good? I'm looking at. A swing mounted spare carrier for the Model Y, but I'm so scared of the wind drag cost. I mean it, it definitely could buy you time. But there are other or there are other options to repair flat tires if it's yeah. like a nail or something. Dep but if yeah. it's a gash Without a spare, your SOL. Yeah, and even w if it's a big gash, then the tire repair kit's not going to work no. either. But you can look at a plug kit, which are yeah. really cheap. You know, like I think less. You know, I think they're ten dollars on Amazon. Yeah, and and you have to usually take the tire off. So you would need a jack of mm -hmm. some sort. But there's a lot of small jacks you can get, uh, and then you can just kind of screw into the tire and and put this plug in there and then reinflate it. Yeah. So definitely get you know a, a portable. A tire inflator, which we have in all of our vehicles. But I guess it really depends, Jeff. What are you planning to do? Are you just gonna kind of just drive around Canada, or like what do you? Because if you're not gonna be somewhere super remote, if you're gonna be kind of more closer mm -hmm. to like cities, it's not. I mean, it's a hassle, but it's not like the end of the world to uh, potentially call a tow once every couple of years if you did get yeah. a flat. And and they do have like some smaller like temporary spray you can get but yeah, like the donuts but if he's trying to convert his vehicle to uh live in it or whatever all space he, matters yeah, he probably doesn't want to put it in inside and that's why he's talking about putting it outside it's like yeah uh, i mean know, you're gonna get you're gonna lose mileage for sure a little bit just with the weight and the, but hopefully resistance wouldn't be that bad just since it is so close so to close. the rear i guess it depends on how much it sticks out but uh yeah, I don't know. Uh, if you Instagram any of this, definitely tag me in some things. I'd love yeah, to uh, check cool it to out. Yeah, that'd cool to see how you change it. It'll be cool yeah. too. Hopefully, like for Jeff and from for some others, hopefully the Tesla will come out with a CCS adapter because yeah. I know that there's a lot more CCS uh, charging stations up there in Canada and uh, in Europe. They've switched over to that, and they have a uh, an upgrade kit for existing mm -hmm. S and X. But all the the threes have the CCS port. Right. So it would be nice if Tesla came out with that so that you could be anywhere and not have to worry about a supercharger or anything nearby. Definitely. Uh, Diego said, would you still buy Neo at $50 long play? Um, I mean, ever since it jumped up so much, I have not purchased anymore. Again, like, don't take this as investment advice. It's just my my game. Uh, I think it's, it's pretty darn high as it is. Um, so I haven't. Uh, Andrew still in said mind sharing your opinion on all the FSD videos out there I can't stop watching because they're so impressive especially how fast the betas improve neither can I I've watched a lot of them and I'm bummed I still haven't gotten FSD beta but such is life yeah. um, they've been talking about but it looks amazing releasing it to a lot more people and it, yeah. it, it, it's, it's definitely making a lot of progress they've had a few updates but uh, yeah we're kind of bummed that we haven't gotten it here yeah we don't know anybody who got it, but if you're in Colorado or nearby, let us know, and we'd be happy to come and take a look. You bet. Uh, Chelsea has a good point. If you didn't buy all those Teslas in the past and influence so many others to buy the stock, might or influence so many others to buy cars, the stock might not have been so good, and it could have been That's the exact true. opposite. That's true. Yeah. You know what? We did our part. I love I your outlook. Yeah. I love it. So, yeah. Um, let's see. Thoughts on Quantum Scope? Quantum Scope. I don't know. 
I saw that. I, I know I've heard of it, but I don't remember what it is. So we'd have to. I'm gonna plead the fifth. Explain to us what that is. Or uh, yeah, or yeah, just let us know. Jeff just replied to us again um, there. I, Je thank you so much for the five dollar <laughs> super yeah. chat, Jeff. But y you can just type it in the comment. I feel bad. Just keep sending money to ask questions. Uh, you can just type it down below. Don't worry, we'll read it. Um, said I want to go on backcountry BC Canada roads, but mostly casual off road stuff like fire roads. Um, yeah. I'm just scared of popping those stock Gemini tires on rocks. I can see the rocks. need, yeah, if you're going... If you're doing that, I would carry a full-size Yeah, yeah. I would get a whole new rim, um, and, yeah, just be able to pop one off and pop a new one on, if you're going to be doing stuff like that. Yeah, but I would still get, like, the plug kit and, oh, you and everything, too, but, yeah, I would carry a spare with you. Yep. And that's cool. Uh, we might make, make it up there to British Columbia one of the days. We actually yeah. had, like, a week-long trip scheduled we were going to be driving around there uh, a while back oh that was back when tesla actually had it was the referral program that you could get oh yeah so you could borrow a tesla and uh, for the week and we were like well we don't want to borrow it here in colorado we want to borrow it in british columbia and we had all the plans set uh, i think that was back in 2017 yeah. but then one of our dogs got sick and we could not go on that but we were gonna go kind of not back country bc but we're gonna drive all around british columbia where we could but one of these days we're gonna make it back well we gotta wait for the border to open back up i guess but that once, first. once that happens we have a, we have a couple cool road trips but oh, we, yeah. we have to wait for some borders to open before we can take the cars out and do those yo uh frank said elon said he isn't uh in favor of heads-up displays yeah uh, you know, again, too, they're very. Some of them are better than others, but yeah, I, I, we tried those little add-on heads-up displays, and they were pretty poor, in my opinion. So I'm yeah. glad we didn't keep that. But I mean, I, it would be cool though. Th 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 it would be cool if they could do something. Yep. Uh, Jeff, thank you again for a two dollars super oh, chat. Right. Um, said uh, thoughts on mounting a tiltable one kilowatt solar for Model Y. I mean, that would look really awesome. I would be afraid of what efficiency you might lose yeah and also i don't know how i don't know if you'd be able to charge the car or anything on that. i don't think you'd be able to charge the car really but like, maybe for like a phone or a yeah computer. but for that instead of doing it on the car you could just get like one of those mats that just rolls out true and set it up i would and, do that and, and, yeah because, because that way if you're like staying somewhere you could just like roll that out on top of your car maybe find one with some suction cups or something and you can just suction cup it on top of your car and that way you could charge like a tablet or something yeah. when you need it. But, but there's some other things I, like I, yeah. an inverter. I yeah. would look at something like that. And that's why with the Cybertruck, um, I think the Cybertruck yeah. will have all those extra electronics like the inverter and stuff. Yep. So it will Built be able in. to do that. And it might, and it's not going to be huge, but you can at least trickle charge the battery. And so if you are out in the backcountry for, for a week, you would be able to add enough miles to get to you know 100 miles back but yeah. uh, if you're just going to add one kilowatt of panels i don't think it would be enough and and with the inverters and all that stuff i don't think it'd be cost effective to do that yeah i don't think it'd it be would cool really... but I, it would be i think it'd be too expensive and i don't don't think that the car would be able to really do anything off of that yeah between the expense and the hit on the range and every efficiency i don't know if it would necessarily make sense to keep something on top of your car like that now if it's something you could maybe just throw up there like those foldable ones by all means, I think that'd be great. Um, let's see. Um, Robert said, maybe someone, not me, should tweet Elon asking about chromatic windows. We're on it. We'll tweet him that. That's fine. I, th I mean, honestly, I thought those were coming out on, like, the X years ago. I know. Ago, and same here. Did, especially because it has that huge cockpit uh, windshield. Never happened. One of you these know. days, hopefully. Uh, Don said, any guesses on Model Y removal of the piano black? No, I'm actually surprised they haven't introduced that new center console. Um, that being said, I do have a new center console that will be hopefully arriving soon. Still needs to finalize being ordered um, to see if the, you can swap that out. Um, that being said, though, if you do get the Piano Black uh, center console, I would definitely wrap that uh, with like a vinyl wrap or something. Uh, our channel sponsor, Abstract Ocean, actually has those, and they are... Perfectly cut, super easy to install. We've done it a couple times in some videos and everything. Um, but that way you can just protect it because that stuff scratches if you look at it funny. <laughs> it's, it's pretty wild. Um, I'm going to jump ahead. You can, we can come yeah. back, but I'll just jump ahead just because some of the questions are way behind. But uh, P. Nguyen was asking, if you hold your finger on the T, Tesla T, for 10 seconds, it asks you for a password. What that used to be, oh, yeah. well, it's a way that they can do certain functionality. But it used to be in the past that you could do that, and you could change it. So if you had, like, a performance uh, Model S you yeah. could, or, or non-performance, you could basically tweak the car and kind of do a test ride, and it would 
react as if you had that vehicle. And it was a way that, in the past, you could you, you drive one car but see how the uh, various vehicles would behave. And then there's other ways you can uh, get certain Easter eggs or change yeah. other, uh, maybe in service mode, stuff like that. Uh, so that's just something that you've seen. But some of them, though, you need a code, uh, a specific code that uh, for your vehicle. And if you don't have that, you can't do much. Yeah. Um, Jeff with another $5 soup chat. Really appreciate that, Jeff. Said, I'd like to modify a Thule 898 kayak mount to hold the panel. Um, then have to get them out of the way at night so I can enjoy the stars in bed. Oh, that's it. So that's kind of another reason. Maybe there's got to be some foldable large solar thing, I would think. We, we looked at, what was that one thing that we looked at years ago? Oh, uh, so, uh, sunflower, um, like a, something flower. Like solar flower or sunflower, something like that, but it's not something yeah. you would put on your car, but it had all these panels that kind of like... Just like fold it all folded out. Folded in, you know, they would unfold into this giant, it looked like a sunflower, and then at night they would close back up, but basically, and it also, it could follow the sun throughout yep. the day, and it was able to do like almost three times as much solar as what you would think, just because it was always at the correct angle and pointing right at the sun. So if you do have the right hardware and, and can put it tracking the sun like that, it can be a lot more efficient than what you would think. Definitely. Uh, and see, I guess that's the other thing, is if you're planning on moving it so you can enjoy the stars in bed, which I think would be dope. Um, other things to consider, like where are you going to put it, um, stuff like that. But, I mean, if it's just going to be you, there is quite a lot of room back in that uh, Model Y. Now, one thing... If you are planning on just living on this and you don't think you're necessarily going to ever have to carry around five people, I would be so inclined to say maybe even gut the back and kind of build something in there for extra storage. Mm -hmm. um, remove the rear seats so you can have extra storage there. You could actually do a lot if you did that. Yeah. So I'm jumping ahead again, but yep. Matthias uh, Odison says... Uh, Native CCS port on S and X in Europe is long overdue. And that's something that we didn't point out is that they can't really fit this, the full CCS port on an S or X. No. The, the charge port on the 3 and Y is bigger. They don't have that. With the, so currently in Europe, they have an adapter they can use, but uh, it, it still limits them. They can't charge at the full 250. And Make sure you talk, don't leave. That, okay, well, that's something that they could do, though. We were talking about what, what new could be happening yeah. with the S and X refresh they would make a bigger charge port yeah. so that it could have a native CCS port. That would be great. And oh, he's, yeah. he's saying that in, in Europe there, he's limited 145 kilowatts. I didn't even think about that. We're able, in my older S, even though, uh, because in the United States we have used a Tesla charge port, but all the superchargers, whether they're V2 or V3, are the same plug. And so I can take my older car with a 100 kilowatt hour battery, I'm able to get like almost 200 kilowatts on an older car. I didn't, I didn't even think of that, but in Europe, they're still limited to, to like 145 kilowatts. So that, that would be yeah. a big, big bump up. For big them. jump. Yeah. Um, let's see. KK said, will Tuesday's video also apply to older Model S's too? I think you, you could. could. Yeah, ones that weren't like fully spec'd out. And stuff I like. mean, yeah. Tuesday's video, it's gonna be a good one, guys, I promise. Um, it's a, and also though it's like a good gift uh, don't ru don't ruin it okay we're NDA we gotta do it in time for Christmas though. NDA oh yeah it'll be Tuesday don't worry about it um, any Model 3 and Y owner absolutely gonna love it um, early S owners without a heated steering wheel potentially what um, I couldn't hear you but they That's could good. probably <laughs> no, I'm just I'm just saying <laughs> oh okay um, let's see um, ba, 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 ba. Wow, okay, where are we? Let's see, lots of comments. Um, uh, someone was asking, did Tesla start selling parts on the heat pump for the Model 3? Heat pump? I don't know. Well, I don't know because Let me scoot in here real for quick. For one thing, it's only the 2021 like Model 3s have the heat pump. Now, let me log in real quick and if see. that. Um... You can take another question if you want while I look okay. this up. Okay, let me check that out. I'm just going to look this up on Tesla's uh, part catalog real quick, and then I'll show you as soon as I'm done logging in. Because, yeah, I the, the thing is, is, like, retrofitting the heat pump isn't going to be possible and in my eyes because it, it goes into, like, 
all the coolant loop and everything, I don't think that's even yeah. possible. And so, okay, I, I just jumped ahead. We can go back later. But uh, Mike was asking if we've heard about aftermarket laminated glass for the rear rear windows of the three or Y. I haven't heard anything about the rear. Oh, I wait. Oh, not. he's talking about the rear passenger windows. No, I haven't heard anything about that yet. I haven't either. Um, and again, though, I don't know if it would oh, be... Uh, Jeff did another $5 oh, super yeah. chat. Um, thank you, Jeff. Said if I, Let me turn up my volume a little bit. Sorry we missed that. Okay. Um, said, if I buy a Model Y with 19s, will it lose traction and chirp a lot more when I punch it? I just really want to drive fast, so I'm selling my house in Prius. No. Um, it won't yell at you, or it won't lose traction or anything if you punch it with 19s. You'll be fine. Yeah. Um, I have 19s and I have 20s for my Model Y. Mind you, it's performance, but it'll drive the exact same. You won't have to worry about that. Yeah. And to follow up on Mike with the real amity glass, just, uh, we'll talk about that in the coming week. Or maybe next stream. Coming soon. I'm trying to find this here. I'm not, I'm not seeing it in the part catalog yet. Hmm, somebody else said, Douglas Burke said that you can now say search Google for something and it will do that. So it's interesting. The car will? I don't know, but what's it going to do? Is it going to put that on like the navigation? That's actually pretty cool. I didn't know that. It'd be nice if they did have like just built in Google. I know you can get like Alexa for uh, for your car and then it will listen to you and you, you don't have to push any button. And uh, yeah. if you want Alexa in your car, but it'd be nice. That it was built in. Definitely. Um, so here's the uh, Tesla parts catalog. And here it says cabin HVAC after October 5th of 2020. So that's when they started it. Um, it says over the counter. Well, you need to find the actual part because not all of it sometimes is over the counter. But this doesn't, it doesn't look like it's here. That's the thing is. So I'm just like. Yeah, I don't know if that's necessarily it. Um, heater core. I, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I'll keep fooling around and trying to find this. I don't know who would need these though because it's only on brand new cars. Yeah. And you're not going to really be able to retrofit an old car. Yeah, I don't so, think it's possible. Or if you did, it's going to be insanely expensive. So. And take a ton of time. You're probably better off just buying a new car to be 100% honest. Um, I'll keep fiddling around with this while we uh, take some other questions. And if I can find it, we'll come back to this. Um, let's see. Um, Mark said they need to bring back the Model S sunroof. Yes. 110%. I love, I love my, my panoramic sunroof. That's the one it's, thing I'm regretting getting yeah. a plaid on. It's, it's Because nice. we're going to lose that potentially if they don't bring gonna, it back. They got to bring it back. They got to bring it back. Because that is such a nice feature, especially in summer days. I'm surprised it's been gone so long because they got rid of it like, what, in 2017. Yeah. Surprised it hasn't been back yet. Is that it? The coolant? The octo valve and all that stuff. I think that looks like the octo valve on that one part, but I don't know. I uh, know there's a oh wow I almost just spilled water everywhere. There's a lot of different parts on here, so this might take a little while. Um, but I'll keep searching. Um, let's see. Uh, Thomas said, "What's your best Tesla car? Define best. Fastest yeah. Model Three. Because uh, uh, it's a race what? car. Oh, okay. In this case. And in our case, what we have in the garage. Yeah, what we have in the garage. Um, mm, but if you had a performance... Most driven, if you had probably a the Model uh, Y. Yeah. I guess it just depends. Yeah. I mean, but based on what we have, yes, his Model 3 is faster. But if we had a performance S, it would be faster. It just depends. But yeah, the, currently, the one of our S's has the most miles on it. Cause, and, yeah. But uh, it just depends. We, we use them for different things. It's nice that we do have different vehicles. And we had an X at one time as well, but uh, didn't need the seating capacity of the of the uh, X. So we don't have it anymore. Um, let's see. Jeff, another $2 super chat. Um, thank you so much, Jeff. Um, said, it, could a power wall be used on a mobile unit like an RV? I yeah. mean, if you could wire it yeah, i think it could it, it could be the only thing is is that like the warranty tesla oh, requires yeah. it to be like connected uh to, to like the internet and stuff and i guess you could have mobile internet but but typically that for the warranty it, it's only if it's not connected to the grid and so that's the thing if it's not yeah. connected to the grid then the warranty is only for a certain i don't remember like kilowatt hours or something like that whereas if it is on the grid it has like an unlimited warranty for like 10 years and so that's something you'd be leaving out on but yeah you could do that and i know some people who have rvs they don't have power walls yet but they have other battery systems and solar tied into those so that's that's something that 
and two, we, we were talking about if he did add solar, he could do a trickle charge like into the power wall and then yeah. charge the car from the power wall. But that's going to be a ton of weight, so you're not going to add that in a Model Y. What are those power walls? Three hundred something pounds? Almost. It's like two hundred eighty-six pounds or something like that. So you're and not going to really want to add that. It's a lot of dead weight to carry around. Yeah. Oh, and he was also as asking how you pronounce it. It's just Derek. Is how it's, it's just Derek. Um, the cool thing with the AE symbol is it just kind of combined David and Eric. So David and Eric. Um, it's Derek. And it just worked out really, really well. <laughs> Um, let's see. Um, Ice Dragon King 1000 said Tesla should add a fingerprint scanner to the screen, like today's telephone. I mean, yeah. I mean, can't, our cell phones have them. Yeah, can't cost that much. And if, even if it's not on the screen, they could add on the steering wheel. You oh, know. yeah, that'd be cool. Just that, You know, because, you know, on cell phones yeah. nowadays, it's either on the back or it's on the screen or on the side. So they could easily add one on the steering wheel. But that would be so nice. Rather than, like, pin to drive, why not just use your thumbprint? Yeah. I mean, we use it for our cell phones. Um... Some of the most secure places in the world use fingerprints. So that would actually be a really cool idea. I am down with that. Oh, I see Tesla Enthusiast says hello from France. So, comment ça va? Salut. <laughs> what is it? Yeah, must be really early in the morning, though. So, oh, man, yeah. Um, bon matin. So. <laughs> yeah. Um, let's see. Uh, Jeff, thank you again with another $2 super chat. Uh, I said, what kind of music do you guys like? I mean... I normally just wasn't like top 40. I don't know. Yeah, me too. That's what I do. Yeah. Yeah. Streaming. It's cool though that we do have the streaming channels and I like the 80s, 90s and today or whatever, which it's funny because today is like 20 years worth of music and then 80s and 90s are separate. But <laughs> it's a lot. That's typically what I use too. So we got some old stuff and some new stuff. But I used to actually listen to some talk radio when I was driving to work. But since I don't have the FN tuner anymore, whenever I'm in my car, we just I usually do 80s, 90s and today's or favorites radio. It's nice that then I only hear stuff I like. So. Or it's like podcasts. There's some dope yep. podcasts yep. out there nowadays. Especially um, when we're traveling, we always listen to oh, yeah. podcasts. Yeah. Uh, which, speaking of, we do have a road trip coming up. Uh, Sometime in, in December. In which case, we will be doing some fun videos along yep. the way. Yep. So make sure you stay tuned for that. Um, let's see. Uh, somebody said they have Sharp Shield on their Model Y roof glass and Exo Shield on the windshield. Um, oh, that's Roger. Ha. Um, and that's basically kind of like a screen protector for your uh, glass. Is that on the outside then? It's on the outside, that, yeah. Yeah, especially when you have those little micro bursts. And... <laughs> Roger, sorry. <laughs> um, for those of you that don't know the situation, Roger, um, well, he... Now that, now that he has that, he, that's good that he, he doesn't has have that. to so worry it about it. It will protect that. I'm but saying. there was like a microburst yeah. and it, it messed up that poor Model Y. Yeah, so he, he sent us the video on that. That was amazing. That just came out of nowhere and just yeah. every part of his car was just like... Oh, it was sad. Um, yeah. But so I mean, so I I've understand. heard a lot of good things about that. Um, I just haven't... I haven't did, jumped in because the place out here wants a ton of what money. What did you have that. on your windshield, though, before? Didn't you have something? I just always had tint on the inside. No, but you had something, I thought, on the outside. Uh, just uh, ceramic tint. Oh, okay. No, I sent you a video of someone getting it installed. Oh, uh, okay, that's, wh um, that's what it was. But yeah. when I got a quote, it was like $700, and I was like, for that, I can just you, buy a whole buy new windshield. New, which we've done on the three. So yeah, like, yeah, so... Actually, it's even cheaper because if it's you have glass coverage, it's even cheaper than that. Yeah. Just get a new windshield. Um, but yeah, for all the yeah. glass in your tire car, that would... Yeah. Let us know how that's working out, Roger. Uh, you, you can message hopefully, me or yeah, you can just say it in chat. Either hopefully way. it doesn't get any more storms like that, though. Yeah. So. Uh, Jeff, thank you with another $5 in Super Chat. Um, FYI, you don't have to keep donating, but I really do appreciate it. But you can just drop it in chat if you would like. Um, said when you figure... Uh, we'll, or. When you figure we'll see Tesla make their own house radar sensors instead of using other companies' things. That, that's, yeah, that's a good question because, you know, they've changed the radar yeah. at least once so they far. Have. And when they went from, like, Autopilot 2 to Autopilot 2.5. And they've been talking about, or somebody's seen in the code that they might be getting ready to switch to a different radar that, that can do kind of, like, LiDAR-like functionality, yep. very detailed, but with a new radar. But it, I don't know if they can switch to that before, you know, moving to Autopilot 4 hardware just because there's so many other cars out there with Autopilot 3. And, and before yeah. that they still need to have the same you know, full self-driving functionality. It definitely adds a whole nother wrench into that whole situation. So, I don't know. But I imagine like Tesla wants to bring everything in-house eventually because that's just a way that they can continue improving it at their own rate rather than waiting for somebody else. Like, look at the FSD computers. They were originally with Mobileye. Yeah. And they weren't happy. I mean, I'm sure there was uh, some other things they weren't happy about too, but mobilized progression wasn't fast enough for Elon, so they took it in-house, and look what they've done since then. 
the progression just yeah. huge. So yeah, it'd be cool if they could do their own radar, but uh, that's we'll see. Yeah. <laughs> Um, Aaron said, I have the flat tire repair kit and it has always worked, but if you put the sealant in the tire, you have yeah. to replace it. Yeah. Yeah. That goo or whatever. You, yeah. You, it's like the green slime, slime. stuff. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I've actually never had to use that. Knock on wood. Um, but it is always something that is, is nice to keep just in case. Um, let's see. Uh oh. Um, Jeff just said, answer Diego's question. <laughs> oh, what's up? Jeff just said, answer Diego Falcon's question. Where's so Diego's we'll have question? To pull through because, yeah, we're behind. I'll uh, let him look. Minutes. Yeah, I'm still like a yeah. few minutes behind. Um, Diego, where is your question? Let me look. Oh. That's that one, yeah. Oh, th thank you for that. Let's see. Uh, Diego said it's the jeff show today lol <laughs> maybe we should come back later um yeah uh was that the no, that wasn't a question where is the question it had uh, to have been before that i'm looking i'm looking i'm looking here um let's see I know, and somebody else said you know we had mentioned like well if he put a power wall he could trickle charge from solar yeah it's it is much smaller capacity the power wall is only like going to be like 13.3 kilowatt hours versus whatever size like 75 80 in the battery but it, the thing is is it's better than nothing yeah it is, is and especially if you're going to be out in the back country and camping for a week you could charge that up multiple times and you just like with the cyber truck even if you only get like 10 20 miles a day charging via solar if you're gone for a week that'll be you know 100 miles or so that you can get back into town yeah. So it's again, it's not like you're going to be, or if you, for emergency purposes, or if you have other stuff that you're going to be running, like if you have like an induction cooking or some other, oh yeah, like, if you have you stuff know, like a little that. refrigerator or something like that, uh, you know, the power wall will be able to help with those. Yeah. Uh, Joshua said FSD isn't releasing Colorado yet. I'm pretty sure. So there's actually a map that someone does on Twitter. They're hilarious. Yeah, not the um, but so far, no one's reported having it in Colorado yet. Yeah. We know somebody that said they were offered kind of it, but they didn't have... But then he said he was joking, so uh, I don't know. Yeah, see, I thought that was weird that they would offer uh, to him knowing that he didn't have a car with autopilot. Yeah. But, so that kind of makes a little <laughs> sense, but yeah. Um, cooking Ideas said, if I win the lottery, I will definitely get a Tesla, uh, hoping to fix the quality exterior for the Model Y and add air suspension by then. And that's the other thing. A lot of people want air suspension, yep. which I can relate. I'm actually actively looking for some springs or coilovers that can make my Y a little bit more comfortable. Yeah, and even if it's not standard, it would be nice if it was an option. Kind of like in the, Definitely. In, the, in the past, back 2017 and earlier on the Model S, it was an option. And then they made it standard, which was nice for the people who didn't want to pay extra for it. But it would be nice on a Y. If, if you're not going to make it standard, give us the option to pay for it. And it was only like, yeah. uh, was it $3,000? Uh, I think it was like yeah. three grand. But it's so nice to just have it OEM like that because then you know everything works. If you go with some of these aftermarket companies, uh, one of the biggest air suspension aftermarket companies, they folded during the pandemic. Um, so it's like if you got anything from them, you're not really going to get any support or replacement yeah. parts. But that makes it tough. And it's nice that it is built right into the software. Exactly. So, so it, you know. Everything it, works as it should. Yeah. Um, let's see. Um, ba, 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 ba. um, oh, I just okay, yeah, I'm seeing some oh, so, other stuff. Okay, I see Ryan Robertson says that he has a 2016 Model X. It says my Tesla account says free supercharging, but I still have to pay. Who would you suggest calling? Mobile guy was perplexed too. And yeah, that's weird because I'm guessing you bet you bought the car used, uh, but yeah, typically all 2016 vehicles should have free unlimited supercharging for the life of the car so if you bought it used if it went through another dealership or if tesla bought it back and then you bought it used from tesla then they actually take that away and they might not have updated on the account yet so if it's transferred in your account and it still says you have free supercharging yep. you should have it and you should uh you can uh contact tesla you know call their 800 number and uh open a ticket with them but just have to make sure you know you know all the facts because again they do take it away from some cars if it was sold uh, as, to another party yeah now, um, if you buy it directly from somebody else in 2016 or, or earlier, then it should transfer. Yeah. Um, real quick, Hockey Day, thank you for the 279 Super Chat. Really appreciate that. Said the radar is for the semi-truck because of the stopping. Oh. So, I, okay, I could see, yeah, the radar, the new radar is supposed to have, like, a much longer d range and stuff oh, like yeah, that. Oh, yeah, yeah, And if you have the, the semi, 
if it's like 80,000 pounds or whatever like that, then you it's need that distance. a lot more distance for stopping. Okay, yeah. well, there you have it. Um, KK said, uh, thanks for the gift card, and thank you, Abstract Ocean. Got the mask screen protector and other things. You guys are awesome. Oh, yeah. I assume you're the, the winner from Twitter. Yeah, we had the giveaway. I, yeah, I we've like been the... doing some drops on Twitter for, like, yeah. gift cards and stuff. Um, I had some fun with this last one. I literally just tweeted out a photo of the gift card number and was like, Who's going to get it? Yeah. And it was gone in, like, like, a couple minutes. Yeah, and they already, they bought, like, badges or something. Yep, that, card, right? that one got a badge, but this might have been, uh, was one of the other winners. Oh, so congratulations. Yep. Oh, okay. That was just a regular, like, gift card drop. The other one was, uh, like, comment on this post, and okay. I did some $50 okay. gift cards. Oh, well. So oh, definitely yeah. Earlier, yeah. make sure you check out Twitter, because we're doing drops all winter long through Christmas. Some fun stuff. Um, let's see... Um, See, I was, I'll just jump ahead. Grady says, yeah, hey guys, I wanted to thank you guys for your advice on our Model X purchase. We are loving the car, and Ooh. I have ordered one for myself to replace my 18 Model S P100DL. Wow. I do love the... I still miss the X. I do. And actually, we were kind of talking earlier, like, if Scott had gotten a Y, maybe I would still have my X. Yeah, it's... But know. yeah, that's cool. Well, congratulations. I'm yeah. sure you'll like the 2020, especially because he's going to have a lot more range, I think. Well, maybe compared to the... I can't remember the the 2018 S what the range was, but the I uh, think it was like 285 maybe. Yeah, but the new uh, X's have a lot better range just because the the battery and the efficiencies. And now they have heat pumps. The, on the X, you still have the X. Oh, they don't have those on the X no. yet. No, sorry, I was thinking three for That's some reason. That's something though that we didn't mention earlier. But if they do one of those major S and X refreshes, then I wouldn't be surprised to see the heat pump coming to those as well. Yep. Um, let's see. Somebody said, yeah, fingerprint would be great. Just installed fingerprint on my front door. Uh, pen to drive is just too annoying. And see, that's why I don't really use pen to drive, um, normally just because it is kind of annoying to have to do that. Yeah. I think a fingerprint reader on the steering wheel, ideally, or even the, or even the, the handle. Oh, but yeah. then again, if it's, if it's icy, you might be wearing okay. gloves and stuff like so that. So maybe somewhere in the car. Yeah. So but the steering wheel is just thing. Somewhere that. like that would be great because I use it on my phone. We have several doors in the house with that. Overall, I'm a huge fan and, of fingerprints. And, you, and you're supposed to have your hand on the steering wheel anyways. Because yeah. also if you have a screen, you got a huge screen. Where are you supposed to touch it? Because they wouldn't make the whole screen uh, a fingerprint sensor, I don't think. that would, you know, cause Yeah, our, our phones, I mean, just like the phone, it's only in like a one spot. Yeah, so our, our phones, we have uh, it's in the glass, but it's not anywhere. We have to put it in one spot, so they're not going to do that. It, but that would be cool to have. Yeah. Um, let's see. But congratulations on your Model X. Uh, what was that? The Apple? No. That was someone else. Apple brand said we got a Model X a few weeks ago and the driver's side autopilot camera quit. Mm. Is there anything we can do or can we call service? I would call I would schedule a service visit right in the yeah. app is the easiest thing. I mean, you could try to remove it, but it is you don't want to really remove it if you're not, if you're not used to doing that because you could dent uh, the you can, body. Yeah. And so I, since it's new, I would just put in a service ticket right there in the app and say that it stopped working and they should just Probably do be able to do that mobile and oh, yeah. send a mobile guy out to you, and he'd it's be able easy. to swap it out in a few minutes. Yeah, it's definitely easy to do, but I would say, unless you have all the tools and you've done it before, I would have Tesla do it. Yeah, especially on like a new car, and, I and, wouldn't worry and about it. And you could try rebooting, but even if you try rebooting, it might only work temporarily. It shouldn't be messing up that early, so I would just do a service call and have them come out and swap it out. Definitely. Um, Jeff said, will my Model Y lose 30% MSRP in three to five years if 420 mile range comes out the same price as I pay for a long range all wheel drive now? I mean, the loss is really hard to predict, to be 100% honest. Um, 30% in three to five years. You know, it, I, don't, I, it I just could, don't know. It could, but also depending on if full self driving is realized, True. Th then that could keep the values up. Because yeah. uh, a lot more people might be trying to look at, like, hey, I want a Tesla, but yeah. I can't afford a new one, so uh, let me get a used one. And that might help with the value, but uh, it's hard to say. It is. Uh, and he also said, why has nobody invented smart garbage cans embedded on tracks Actually, that wheel themselves I've, out to the I've end of the driveway that, and garbage cans? I've seen yeah, I've, that yeah. somewhere. I don't remember where. I think where. it was like on a TikTok that you might have sent to me. I don't know, but that, somebody did that. Or, yeah. or, you know, because they have like those little lawnmowers, too, that you can send out to mow yeah. the lawn. I think somebody like kind of tweaked it and put it on his uh, trash can. Yeah. Uh, um, Apple Review said, did you buy your Tesla Model Y used or new? 
I actually bought that one new and then Apple Brain below that said so you can't get a Model Y used because they are so new. And actually, yeah, you can. We, we sold, we our, sold one. Yeah, because we, um, we had one of the very first deliveries back in March yep. and we sold it to Roger, who is on the chat here today. Yep. That's when we were talking about who, who uh, well, basically, you can get a used one, but they're very rare right now because right. everybody's buying them new. Uh, Diego said, rumors are going around from a famous hacker that live view feed is coming soon. Oh. I wonder if it's the Ring partnership or a Tesla thing. I'm pretty sure it's going to be the Ring partnership. Yeah. Well, explain what that is. We saw that uh, like last yeah. month, I think. They yeah. Mentioned it's um, coming. Uh, Amazon released a thing because Amazon now owns Ring. Um, and it actually included Tesla by name in that and said, uh, you'll be able to access your camera feed through your phone, much like you do your ring cameras at home and stuff like that. Uh, obviously, I'm pretty sure it's going to come with a subscription, subscription model. Yep. You know how we feel about that. Mm -hmm. But overall, like being able to see that on your phone could be huge. Yeah. And it's a feature that I'm super stoked for. And Thank you for bringing that up, Diego. Yeah. I should have added that to the news but section. Now, is that going to be like, uh, that probably would still be using the built-in Wi-Fi, right? Yeah, I would assume yeah. So, so, yeah. so, which is nice too, because then you don't have to worry, because like with the Model S, we have that Blackview dash cam, which yeah. has cloud functionality, and we could put a Wi-Fi hotspot in the car, and we'd be able to access that remotely, but I'd have that additional fee of having to, uh, well, there's no subscription fee for it, I would have to pay for the actual Wi-Fi hotspot. Yeah. So if, if the Ring services you're just paying for you know the ring subscription that's nice that but i wonder if you're going to need the premium connectivity subscription from I, Tesla I would, on I would top assume of you that. need at least that yeah so i mean then comes in line you're gonna have two subscriptions to i don't know i guess we'll see how it rolls out but i am super stoked for that yeah. that will be very we'll definitely nice. we'll definitely be trying that out when it's released you bet um andrew said how about facial recognition from the internal camera to start your car that's something. That's something too. Yeah, that's I mean, because you know, like phones that unlock. I, I guess you know. Yeah, I'm down with that have too. Have, that worked for me. I mean, to be honest, though, my internal cameras right now just have a piece of tape over them. Yeah, and in, and not all cars have that. Like, so yeah. the SNX wouldn't have that yet. And it, I don't know if the three and Y if their camera would be detailed enough for that. I guess it depends on how secure it needs to be. Yeah, yeah. A fingerprint though would be so easy. Um, let's see. Um, where are we at? Um, but yeah, hopefully we see like V11 out soon too. Um, that would be nice. Hopefully it looks a lot like what the Cybertruck showed. That'd be super nice actually. Um, let's see. Apple Review said, well, would you get the Tesla Model S Plaid? We actually reserved one literally right when it was announced uh, on live stream. We yep. reserved it. Yep. And... So far, we don't have any plans to cancel it. Yeah. But I'm like, if they made something with the new battery, with the new refresh, it just didn't have that extra speed. Yeah. We would buy that over the Plaid because we have roadsters coming. Yeah. We don't really need all these cars to be going that fast when we could have something potentially that goes a little bit further because it doesn't have that high power motor. That would be ideal, I think. Yeah, so we'll see. Well, like you said, if, if the Plaid has tons of extra, who knows? It might yeah. have tons of other stuff. But if it's the same thing and it's just faster, then we'll probably go the non-Plaid route. Yeah. Um, Jeff, thank you for the $5 super chat. Um, said, how did dogs react to a fast 0 to 60 in a Model S? Have you ever tried? Oh, my God, I would love that if I was a dog. I don't think um, we've ever, like, We've never, it. no. Because ours are pretty big dogs. And, Every and time we have dogs in the car, we, like, put it in chill mode. Yeah, because like, they're pretty tall, and careful. sometimes they try to stand up, and if we were to do that, they would just fly back, so we don't uh, we don't launch when we're with the dogs. And, no. Yeah. And typically, too, we, we're only going to, the, like, either the park or to the vet or something, and we don't have the occasion to launch the vehicle. So. Yeah. I don't think I would do that with them in the car, because, yeah, they'd probably go flying in that. Yeah. That would be terrifying. Yeah. Um, let's see. My 2020 Model Y Performance Carbon Fiber Spoiler was separated on the passenger side when uh -oh. it arrived from Fremont. Tesla replaced it in August. Now it's separating again. Do others have Ooh. this issue? I have not experienced that. Um, the only thing I can think of is maybe there's some weird arch somewhere or something. I think that when they, I thought maybe they, they didn't put the primer down when they yeah, put it I on. I know that when they first came out, I think there was a problem with some of the very earlier ones. But oh, okay. uh, if he got it replaced already, I'm surprised he's having he's having that issue again. Yeah, but it should still be under warranty. So uh, yeah, I would. Uh, I mean, as much of a pain in the butt as it might be, I would fill out another service ticket, Tracy, and be like, hey. 
It's an expensive car. Like, the least it should be is actual fitting onto your uh, hatch there. Because what if that eventually flew off? That's not yeah, a good that's idea. Yeah, that's a safety issue. And as we talked about earlier in the call, or the stream, they're doing recalls on the Model X because parts can fly off the car. So it seems like if, you know, the spoilers aren't staying on there, they should definitely uh, take a look at that. Yep. Um, let's see here. Where were we? Um... Otis said, do you think Tesla will update the cameras to 1080p since sentry mode is so, so a useful feature? I don't know if they can. They would have to probably come up with a whole new camera module, I would think. Or all different ones. But but also, that would take a lot more processing power. But it, uh, maybe with hardware 4. I don't know. I don't yeah. I don't know if they would do it on the existing you know, hardware 3, Autopilot 3, just because they're already, uh, you know, the full self-driving chip is processing all that and able to do like 360 view and all this stuff internally yeah so for visualization stuff like but that would be a lot more data to crunch through at 1080. that that would be a we'll lot see. maybe with the four hardware four in a couple of years yeah we'll see uh ben said uh when are the roadsters coming hopefully soon um we don't know because yeah they were hopefully. supposed to be the 2020 roadster and here we are Almost December 2020, and still haven't gotten any word. I mean, they show up. We have roadsters yeah. listed in our account on Tesla, and and uh, we haven't had any news. We're hoping to get some news uh, for those because it's been three years now since the unveiling of that. And while well, 2020 looked doable back in 2017, it didn't happen. A lot of stuff has happened this year, though, so I can see it being delayed to 2021. But hopefully, we'll get some information on that in 2021. Yeah. Especially, especially with the plaid coming out, yeah, and it looks like the plaid will take a lot of design cues from the next gen Roadster, or, or vice versa. So hopefully, we'll be getting information on that in twenty twenty. Yeah, uh, twenty twenty one. Sorry. Well, yeah, um, Jeff, thank you for the two dollars super chat again. Um, no, I don't. Sorry, I never have. Um, let's see. Um. So instead, will we consider a tiny house to go with the Cybertruck? I mean, we, there's there's some things that we've talked yeah, about. Yeah, we've looked at some. We're talking with somebody, but we we just gotta. There's some things in the works. Yeah, uh, but not probably not as big as a tiny house. Even, no, I mean it's big as a tiny house. But or big big as a tiny house or tiny as a tiny house. Yeah, um, yeah. Uh, we're trying cool. to figure stuff out. Yeah. But we don't have the parking for that really. Right? No, I mean, if anything, I would say a Tesla semi, like the whole like dream thing would be like a tesla semi pulling a like 45 foot flatbed trailer that we could put a car in the back of and create like a little tiny home on that trailer that would be cool i don't know how that's gonna work but it'd be cool um <laughs> let's see um someone said david have you checked your model s to see if fsd computer was installed during mcu update oh yeah 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 that's when we we got it done at the same time that's one thing because we originally yep. were we were waiting months and then they they need to do wait till they got the both they said they could have done the full self-driving upgrade uh separately but we just got it done with mcu2 upgrade and yeah definitely you can tell because we instantly start seeing the functionality and uh you know all the different visualizations, such as trash cans and and all the tra uh, traffic cones and stop lights and stuff like that, and being able to automatically go on green lights and all that. Yeah. So so I definitely have that functionality, and it'll be cool. So once that beta rolls out to my car, even though it's a 2017, it should be able to do full self driving just as well as a 2020 or a 2021 car. Yep. Oh. Um. Let's see. Um. Jeff asked. I know we yawn for more oxygen. <laughs> How is the yawning message, uh, message passed to one another? I honestly don't know. That's more in depth than I would know. Um, Diego, you're oh, so Somebody funny. said, yeah, they have camper trailers can store a car in the back. Those yeah, might be I've too, seen those. But those might be too heavy too for heavy. the Y. You might yeah. be able to do that on an X with its 5,000 pound or whatever capacity, but I don't know if you could do... I mean, it, I'm sure the Y would be able to handle it, but I don't think the brakes and everything else would be rated for that, and that uh, you shouldn't be doing that. Yeah, that would a be a trailer. lot of weight. Um, let's see. We've been live an hour and 46 minutes. Well, we can try wrapping wow. things up here. Wow. So, yeah, we're going to just try to take a few last questions and everything, and then we'll probably call it 
Um, I see like a couple of people asked about uh, 4K dash cams. I don't, I don't think they're going to do that anytime soon. Uh, they would be really nice. I no. mean, I have 4K dash cam for the, the black view, at least for the front. Yeah. And then it's full HD, or you know, it's you know, full 10, HD 8. for the back. Yeah. Yeah. So it's really nice. It's so detailed, you, and you can really zoom in if you need to afterwards. I, I don't see Tesla doing that anytime soon. Like again, maybe with fourth generation hardware uh, coming in a couple of years, but I don't think it's going to have it anytime soon. So what if they added like an extra camera, a separate one, That's and good. the yep. separate one would record, but, but then it be wouldn't for, be used for FSD. That's another thing. Or maybe they could. Could they down res it? That's another thing too. Is maybe they could have a 4K camera for Sentry mode, but for autopilot only use like Down 1080 or 720. So that's an idea right there. So yeah. if you see this idea coming, you hear it for yeah. first. So Breaking news. Let's, Breaking we, better, news. we better patent that really quick. So, <laughs> but yeah, they could uh, down res it and basically yeah. have high quality, higher quality stuff. Because a lot of these videos, like surveillance videos, it doesn't do any good if you can't see it. You know. So if they had better quality on surveillance, but you don't need that for full stuff driving, that'd be great. Yeah. Um, favorite Model Y color? I mean, I love the white. Uh, I have some ideas, though, that I might be wrapping my Model Y to something else to look a little bit different. Um, so we'll see about that. Um, let's see. Uh, WFS Media said anything in real-world drive Model Ys. Supposedly, delivery is next month. Yeah, we heard some people have been getting calls. In, they live close to Fremont, and they've been getting calls saying to get ready for later in December. So that should be coming in, within weeks. Yeah, so. I, I definitely, yeah, should be really quick. Um, let's see. And, um, let's see. Steve Harrington has asked, is there a tool other than a screwdriver to release the tow cover on the back of a Y? And with the standard one, I don't think there's... <sighs> really? I use this screw, a flathead screwdriver too, and it makes me nervous every single time because yeah. I'm afraid I'm going to break it. I'm just waiting for somebody to come up with some other way to mount a that. better, yeah, cover. Yeah. And, and, you know, some other tow hitches have a different thing that was using magnets. Yeah. But, uh, uh there's, I'm sure there will be more alternates out in the future. Yeah, I mean, to be honest, most of the time now, I just leave the uh, cover off. Leave it off, yeah. Uh, it's just, I hate having to remove that thing because every time I think I'm just going to break the entire bumper, it's not super easy to do, and I'm afraid of scratching it all. Um, Daniel said, have you considered getting a Porsche Taycan, an Audi e-tron, or any other non-Tesla EV? Yes. Um, I had a reservation for the Taycan, um, and then it became the Taycan, and then it became no one at Porsche ever wanted to talk to me about it or sell mm -hmm. it to me. And same thing, kind of. It wasn't with the Audi. It was with... Um, Cadillac? No. Uh, no, it was, what was the other one? I can't remember. There was ja another Jaguar. one. Jaguar. Uh, oh, yeah, the I-Pace. Um, they just... they You go to the dealer, and they just don't even want to talk to you about them. They don't want to sell them to you. Um yeah. I think that's the issue. Yeah, and or I don't know too if it's like Eric's age and stuff, or they're Maybe. just not trying to sell it. Because I mean, even me. I mean, I, I do pull up in a Tesla. Yeah, but I mean, I've gone like we were trying to talk with Honda about one of their uh, EVs or like years ago, and yeah. they they're like, no, we don't sell them here. And I was like, well, how can I order one? And they just had absolutely no interest. Yeah. And you know, other, most other companies just aren't dedicated to selling EVs. So yeah. that's why there's it's nice to have like Lucid and these other companies, uh, Rivian coming yep. out with competitors but or, th that they're interested. That's all their market will be. So they're they're definitely interested. So uh, we've looked at Lucid, but we tried. Yep. Was it Lucid the one that? No, it was the Hummer. It was the we, Hummer EV. We, we tried to put in a reservation, and the website just wouldn't take our money. Yeah, there was no submit button. So they, yep. they lost out. So we probably would have canceled that one anyways. But it's yep. just like, you know, we are definitely always looking at other, at the competition. But to, to date, Tesla still has the best range, the best charging network. The charging network. And, so and they have so many years of experience that these other companies coming out and I think that uh, while they might have a cool product with a, maybe a nicer interior or some cool features I, I think they're still going to have some uh, uh, learning you know they have some learning to do yeah um, so yeah quantum scape is a JB's like battery thing um, so Matt actually oh, said, yeah, did that. you guys get in on JB's IPO? It's up 57% right uh, now after I going guess, public. I guess um, not. <laughs> I, I just put it on my watch list, so I'm going to definitely keep an eye on that. Thanks yeah, for letting I me forgot, know. I knew that sounded um, familiar, but I forgot what it was. Yeah, I, didn't I totally had, spaced on that. I didn't that. realize it had the IPO already. So that's um, like the battery recycling. Yeah. Like, Darn it. Ugh. We'll have to see. Um, somebody asked, is this stream on Apple Podcasts? It would be nice to listen on airplanes. So I guess that's the other thing is, would you guys like it if we put this on like podcasts obviously it wouldn't have any associated images 
But one thing we could do is maybe take some images that might help this story along and put them on Instagram and you could like look at some of those images and then listen as a podcast. A lot of people have been emailing me asking for that. So I don't know. Maybe maybe we'll look into that. I have no idea how to begin and do that, but something we can look for. What is it up to now? Quantum? If this is I, this is like $37. I don't know because it's showing that. I said Yeah, that's their I, that's the IPO. Holy probably. cow. Yeah, they really they went up 50% just like that. So. Yeah, we'll have to look at that. That's Missed pretty crazy. That. Um but we do have uh, he said, Quantum Scape is not Redwood. Don't get it mixed. Oh, okay. Yeah, see, we'll, we'll have to do some research on this because I'm getting something different. So, we'll, but this is... Also, somebody said, Quantum Scope is not JB's company. Please don't, oh, Nicola, this uh -oh. battery stock. Uh-oh. Okay. Well, we'll Quantum Scape is that. different than... Re okay. So, yeah, I'll, I'll definitely have to look into that. But, yeah, he mentioned that... Yeah, but I put it on my uh, watch list. I'll have to check it out. Um, let's see. With the podcast... Um, you can't really speak and ask questions. And, and that's the thing is like, we would still do this with YouTube, it but we good. could just take the audio and throw that Up into there. a podcast for <laughs> those of you that want to listen to it that way. Um, I don't know. We're thinking about and it. If we did that too, it'd be, we could maybe have a way to submit questions in advance. True. And then that way we could just answer some of the questions. And you know, one thing we've done in the past weeks, we didn't get a lot of questions, repeat questions this week, but we, we've been trying to like have links to some of our other videos because we've covered a lot of these issues or topics or questions before. And, uh, or sometimes even within the same video, somebody asks us the same thing three times. Yeah. So we're going to maybe start pushing some of those other videos just so you can get the answers there and, and we can get to new questions during the, the live streams. Yeah. Um, so we'll look at it. Uh, Rob said, now you know, releases their uh, show as a podcast each week. Uh, you can definitely tell you're missing out on some images, but it's still good to listen to. Cool. Yeah, we'll look into that and see uh, how easily we can uh, do that uh, and kind of get that hosted for you guys in case you are interested in listening to it as a podcast. But either way, we will still be doing this live stream as is. If anything, it would just be taking this putting it up for people who just want to have something to listen to, but maybe don't have the time to always fully watch it all. But yeah, I think we'll go ahead and end it there. We've been live for almost two hours now. So um, it's been an awesome time. Really happy to see everybody and chat. Thank you so much. Um, I guess next time we see you, it'll be December. Already. Yeah. Um, again, though, Tuesday's video is going to be dope. Um, yeah, thanks for all the questions. Thanks yeah. for the super chats again. Yep, thanks. thank you all. Um, and again, huge thanks to our channel sponsor. If you guys haven't checked out Abstract Ocean, make sure you do. I'll link down below using code Tesla Inventory, which you 15% off of your first purchase. All kinds of awesome accessories for your S, X, 3, and Y. Uh, they really help make shows like this possible. So huge shout out to them. Uh, but I guess so. We'll see you guys in a week. We'll see you in December. God, that's so weird to think. It feels like it was just March, and here we are. Uh, but, yeah, we'll go ahead and see you guys then. Don't forget to thumbs up if you enjoyed the video, and we'll see you all next week. Bye.